subject I'll be talking about right now. Let's talk about how my top student is getting three to five clients a month, how you can get small businesses to pay you one to 10 grand a month to manage their social media. My opinion, this is the best way if you don't know what to do, if you wanna start a business, listen to what I'm about to say. I'm gonna be giving out cash, PayPal and cash to people who pay the most attention. And at the end, I'm giving away a brand new MacBook. It's a 12 inch MacBook. Who wants this, who wants cash? First, let's get into this right here. Best opportunity I know. Let's say you don't know what to do with your life. Whatever, you're, you hate your job, you're unemployed, you wanna start a business. Here we go, I didn't even plan this. Castan Ralph Castaneda made 45 grand. Oh, you're on my Twitter, what's up Ralph? I met him at ComplexCon. If you saw my Snapchat, I posted this screenshot. He's 19 years old, in the last three months, he followed my instructions on building a small social media marketing agency to do to take on clients, little businesses, he made 45 G's cash, cash at 19. He showed a screenshot, I put it on my Snapchat. Listen to what I'm about to tell you because this is a game changer and people sleep on this idea. It cracks me up like people are like, oh, oh, oh. there's no money in the world. I'm like, dude, my top student made a million bucks in the last 12 months. So let me set this up so you understand this. 12 months ago, I decided I'd create a small test group, announce it on my social media, and let the most interested people be on it. And I said, I'm gonna show you how to get businesses to pay you one to $10,000 a month, depending on what you do for them, to manage their social media and internet marketing. Some people thought it was a scam. Some people didn't believe in it. Guess what? A few people believed. 28,000 people went through that program in the last 12 months, 28,000. My refund rate is like so insanely low compared to other products like this that you see on the internet. So all you that sleep on this idea, I'm just gonna tell you, you're an idiot. <laughs> now you might, it doesn't mean everybody has to do this, but if you think this idea is not fundamentally sound, you are crazy, you are. So I hope, for those of you who really have a mind, you got eyes, to really observe the truth and you got ears to listen listen to this for the rest of you go do whatever you want to do this is a serious talk we're gonna have fun with it but I'm gonna lay out the formula so I'm gonna lay out the formula for free and then I'm gonna open up uh, like I said I built a test group let them in I've done a couple test groups I'm gonna open up one today if you want to get in and go through the paid program which is uh, what is it three months or two months Alex, I don't even remember what we did. Is it a three month program that we built? Oh, it's four. Four months, okay. Four month program, and I'll walk you through. We already built it, but I'm gonna add a whole bunch of bonuses on. So here's the opportunity, I'm gonna tell you in a nutshell, is that is this simple. Look, who controls most of the money in the world? Who knows the answer, 100 bucks. Don't say the Rothschilds, don't say the Illuminati. 100 bucks, I'm on PayPal. The first person, who controls, let's just take the US. The United States. Somebody said, how the fuck do you forget how long your test group was? Man, I'm the boss of the company. I don't do all the minutia, my friend. Government, investors, consumers. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Yes, okay, the government prints the money, so I'm not gonna count them. What people around you control the most money? Landowners, Rockefellers, banks, no, 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 no. Control money that you can get access to. You can't count necessary. Banks are only loaning to people with good credit. I'm talking about for everybody, beginner. There we go, starting to see it. Damn it, came through too fast. I missed you on Twitter. Here we go, Caleb Yu on YouTube, business owners. Someone said on Twitter, but I missed you, sorry. We'll get you again, I'm a Caleb you on YouTube. I'll send you a hundred bucks. Business owners generate the most money and have the most money that you can get access to if you don't have a great credit score, if you're 18 years old, if you're 80 years old. Yes, banks control a lot of money, but go try to get a lot of money from a bank. If you don't have a great track record, they ain't gonna give you jack squat. So I'm talking about to the everyday common man and woman watching this. 
Remember, my stuff that I do, I, I'm an everyday common person. That's where I came from. I was born in Long Beach, Compton, California. My dad was in prison, single mom. I'm not like somebody who was, I, I live in Beverly Hills now. I'm in La Jolla now. This is my beach house, but I wasn't born here. So for the everyday person, your best opportunity to get cash, it's not from venture capitals in San Francisco, even though you can get money from them. It's not from Kickstarter, even though you can raise money on Kickstarter. It's not from the bank, it's not from your mom, it's, it's from business owners. There's at least 20 million just in the US, small, medium, and large business owners. What's the average age of a business owner? 100 bucks, here we go. What's the average age of a business owner? PayPal, live, here we go. Average age of a business owner, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the fourth person I see, so we give Facebook time to catch up. 35, somebody says no. Enrique says 25, no. 23, someone said no. Just give me a range. Over what age is the average business owner? Let's go, 60, no. 40, no, is that what I'm looking for? It depends on what statistic you look at. Uh, 26, no. The average business owner, you think's 26? Come on, guys. Eric says, wow, this is really live. <laughs> 30, Kyle, no, the answer, come on, somebody get it so we don't spend, here we go. Megan Lowell. 50. The average business owners are 50. They got money. They've accumulated. They built a business. Even the least successful business has a marketing budget. You walk in the door to them. There's a certain pitch you say to them. There's a certain script you follow that I've created, giving it out to 28,000 people. I'll tell you basically the script. Basically, you do what's called an audit or a free evaluation. So before you walk in the door, you check out their Instagram, you check out their Twitter, you check out their website, you check their email funnel, you check out their, uh, you do Google site speed test, and you walk in with problem solution, problem solution. How do you get clients? Jaden, my top student in the last 12 months, last year he had no bank account, this year, I'm gonna try to FaceTime him in in a little bit so you guys can actually hear from him. He's in Chicago. He's just passed a million dollars in one year. Not, not net, but, a million, but he makes a lot net. He makes a lot net. If you do this right, your profit margin should be a minimum of, of 30%. So if you're doing a million, you should make 300,000. Not bad at 21, okay? And actually, you don't want to make too much profit because you'll make too much taxes. <laughs> you'll pay too much taxes so you can reinvest the money. But that's for a more advanced conversation. That's a good problem to have, making too much money. One of my friends left the United States because he's making too much money. He moved to the islands. There's certain islands that have huge tax advantages, 0% tax. Even Puerto Rico had a tax dealio where you can be paying like 3% tax or 5% or something. So you walk in with the script. You say to them, hey, I'm Ty. I, you know, I live next door. I saw your pizza place. Or you tell your dentist, hey, I saw your, I was on your Instagram. You're getting 30 likes per post. I saw your Facebook. Like, you know, your first Facebook's not doing so well. I saw your Google site speed. You're getting a 70 on the score on how quickly. You don't have an email opt-in funnel. Let me help you. Here's the four things I would do for you. Here's my contract. Now, I'm speeding it up. You don't say it quite this fast, but you go, look, here's my contract. The way it works is I've got four packages. One package is $1,000 a month. One's 2500 a month. One's 5000 a month, and one's 10000 a month. And you tell them there's differences. I've developed a four package. You can adjust this a little bit, but this is my recommended. I'm giving you a turnkey business right here, by the way. Some people are like, Ty, or, you know, I need a turnkey business. This is a turnkey plan, what I'm telling you now. So please take notes. Do you think the average 50 year old feels confident about their Twitter skills, their Facebook skills, their Instagram skills, their YouTube skills? Let me show you this. Because I'm starting to take on big brands and I just launched a company that's working with billion dollar companies. But don't start with that, start with smaller businesses. But I'm just gonna show you. Let's just say I want a Coca-Cola as a client. So I walk in, I'm at the boardroom Coca-Cola. I said, Coca-Cola, you're the number one brand in the world. Let's go here to your Instagram. Okay, you have 2.2 million followers. Your last post got 8,000 likes. Your last video got 23,000 likes. I tell them, I got 2.6 million. My last video, Got 538,000, my last picture got 46,000. I would tell them, I'm not bragging to you, I'm telling you, you can do so much better. You're Coca-Cola. There's no way I should have more followers than you. There's no way I should have more views, I should have more engagement. It's numbers, they can't argue with numbers. That's why I love this business pitch to people. 
I love it. You just go to them and you say, I looked at your numbers. Remember this saying, people lie, but numbers don't. So you just show them numbers. You show them numbers and then you say, problem, solution. The simplest sales technique to make more money is to get business owners. There's 20 million of them in the US and globally there's, no one knows exactly if you wanna count little fruit stands in South America and all that, but there's probably 40 million serious business potential customers for you. They have money. Coca-Cola spends one to three billion dollars on marketing. You walk into them and you say, listen, I help businesses grow their social media and get more customers. If you do it correctly, you'll be able to get as many as 40 customers, 50 customers a year. On the low end, I mean, think about these numbers. Just, just do the math together. If you follow the formula that I'm giving, you come with the first month, you get one customer times $1,000. The second month, now these are monthly contracts. You get them to sign a contract so they continue to pay you, okay? Now, number the second month, you still have the $1,000 client, but let's just say you also sell somebody into a $2,500 program. So now you got $3,500 a month, recurring income. You do that the next month, three months, let's say you could sell a $5,000 package. So you're already making $3,500 from the last two months, plus 5,000, one $5,000 client, you're grossing 8,500 bucks a month. Six figures, six figure income potential in three months. Now, not everybody's gonna do that. A lot of people are lazy. Some people, you know, will have good luck. Some people have bad luck, but this is real legit numbers. Tell me some other thing you can do that in other, under a year with no college degree, 18 years old, you can go, and be making potentially six figures or even a thousand bucks a month will change your life. You can get a nicer car and get a nicer place to live. That's a fat one client. For all of you skeptics, there's skeptics on here. If you're a skeptic, don't do it. Less competition for the good people. That's how I think about it. The way I live my life is every time somebody doesn't believe in what I do, I get excited because I go, I reach 200 million people a year. You, you think I want 200 million people a year? to copy my formula. I don't want that much competition, but I know that they won't because most people, what they don't understand, they hate. Albert Einstein said, the thing about smart people is they sound crazy to dumb people. I've made this presentation to people. I'm like, what's complicated about this? Coca-Cola, the largest brands in the world. Let's look at another large brand, multi-billion dollar brand. Let's look at Geico. Geico is a multi-billion dollar, one of the top recognizable brand. They probably have maybe a quarter of a trillion dollars in assets. Geico, their last post got 132 likes. Their last video got 577, not 577,000. They didn't even get a thousand views. You think Geico has budget to pay for advertising? Of course they do. This is a lay down. I'm giving you guys businesses. This business model will not last more than the next, I don't know, 18 to 36 months. There'll be too many people doing it. 28,000 people went through my paid program. Literally millions have watched my free presentations like this. Don't sleep on this. And those of you who do, you're gonna be regretting it. You're gonna be regretting it. So let's go through, um, Calvin Kelly says, Ty, you're a real G, my guy. Thank you. <laughs> Lily Oton said, how would I start can you send a message in Messenger to people? Okay, let's talk about this real quick. Let's lay out the formula. There's basically four things I'm gonna show you today. Four key things. So number one, and it's a four month program for those of you who've been through my test group, you already know what I'm talking about. But So there's four steps, okay? Here's the beginning, here's you, here's the money that you want. We gotta go through a pathway to get there. Boom, just like Candyland. You ever played that game, Candyland? You a little kid? Okay, so step number one, how to get customers. That's step number one. Number two, um, what to offer them. So you gotta have your different packages. 
So what are you gonna actually do for them? You're gonna do their Twitter, their Facebook, like you can do, it's possible to do too much or too little. Number three, what to charge them. Because if you charge too little, you're never gonna make enough money. I know people charge 100 bucks a month for this. I'm like, dude, you gotta have 10 clients to make 1,000 bucks. They have the money. Most business owners, if they're slightly successful, have 1,000 bucks or more on something that will make them money. Number four, after you know what to charge, how to get a customer, what to offer them, how to do it. Like, how do you fulfill, how to fulfill the work? Like you can't just take people's money and not actually do what you say. So we're gonna talk about all four of those right now. So this, for those of you later, I'm gonna put up a link for a test group if you wanna get in the advanced four month group or we'll do it, or you can try to do it on your own. I know some people that do it on their own and so, uh, some people go, forget that, I'm gonna learn the quick way. I'm gonna learn the shortcuts and I'm gonna learn from people who have already done it before. So, um, okay. How do you get customers? I talked about that. Where do you go first? I would start with local businesses and friends of friends, your own dentist, your own pizza place you go to. Here's the good news. Basically, here's the formula. At, so for number one, how to get customers. Okay, number one, first step is understand that for at the beginning, out, out of every 10 people you talk to and present to, you should get one paying client. So you just make a, if you make a list of 10 people you know, friends of friends, businesses you cert that you, you know, go as a customer, if every 10 of them, one of them can, you can turn into a client on average. Some people, when you get better, you'll only have to talk to three, maybe four to get one. So the question is, did, how many businesses did you drive by today? You drove, drove by a gas station, you drove by coffee shops, you drove by dentist offices, you drove by landscapers, you drove by auto mechanics, you drove by people selling you know, products and people doing uh, dry cleaning. You drove by everybody. I, you probably drive, on average, minimum, a thousand people a day. I mean, a thousand businesses a day. So if you could talk to all of them, which is not realistic, but theoretically, and close one out of 10, you'd have 100 customers. But you're probably not gonna talk to 1,000, although eventually you'll be able to hire people to go walk in door to door for you. You can also contact them on Instagram. You can direct message them. Uh, but remember, you're gonna be talking to people that aren't that good at social media. That's why they're gonna hire you. Most 50-year-old business owners who own a pizza place, a landscaping business, a dentist office, they don't check their Instagram DMs, right? Some do. You can get clients that are already on social media, but in general, I recommend going door to door or having a friend go to door, pay them a commission. You can have salespeople. If you're super introverted, get somebody who loves to talk to people, you know, get your friend who's good looking, girl or guy, be like, go into these business owners, I'll pay you 10%. Every deal you close, I'll pay you 100 bucks a month or 100 bucks one time, or you can give them 30% of the first payment and keep the rest for yourself. You can figure out a commission structure. You could have people do it on the phone, however you want to do it. You can contact them on Twitter. I just recommend don't just use social media. You can also, we'll talk for you more advanced people. You could create Facebook ads and then a video that people watch and you can target business owners on Facebook and that's how you can acquire clients too. So, number two. I mean, the second part of this. So it's a numbers game. You can hire other people to help you if you're shy. And then the other things to understand, you'll get better. At first, it takes one out of 10. Eventually, one to three will be your ratio, maybe one to four. So, and let me back up one thing. Some of you are watching, you're like, okay, Ty, we see you on social media, why should we listen to you? I told you 28,000 people I've trained uh, in my paid programs, and you know, I don't know, probably 50 million people have watched the free stuff on teaching how to get social media clients, okay? The second reason is, I know about social media. Numbers don't lie. So if you go through my program, the four month, we'll certify you, and uh, you know, it's not a college degree or anything, but it's just certified you completed my program. There's an exam at the end, kind of like college, but not exactly, it's not like an SAT. And 
you can tell people, you know, entrepreneur.com named me the number one social media business influencer in the world for 2017. So, and also you can just look at numbers. And I'm not saying this to brag, I just want you to understand that what I'm gonna show you comes from experience. It's not just book knowledge, it's head knowledge. Here's my Facebook. I have 6.2 million. Let me turn my brightness down. Can you see now? I have 6.2 million, uh, is that showing up? Let me zoom in. Can you hold it up to this ca center camera? Okay. 6.2 million, I showed you I have 2.6 uh, million Instagram followers. I got a million YouTube subscribers. Let me show you something though more important about knowing how to use social media marketing myself. So you're gonna be learning from me what I learned on my own businesses. Here's a business I launched in the last 12 months. This is my Stripe account, let's just look how much money it made today. $21,000, this is one of my businesses selling books online it's, and it uses social media marketing. It's made $686,000, you can see there. That's not a screenshot, that's a live login. So I'm actually applying, what you're learning from me is what I learned to grow multiple businesses, okay? What I learned to do over $50 million, way over that, let's just call it $50 million of products online. So you can do the same thing for your dentist. You can do the same thing for your doctor. You can do the same thing for your pizza joint or your uh, real estate agent friend. You can tell them, hey, I learned from somebody that's actually turned social media into money. So, you know, Kim Kardashian was on the Forbes I think it was Fortune Magazine or Forbes for doing $52 million in, in revenue from her uh, social media. And um, I don't like to say my exact numbers, but I'm not far from Kim. So the point being, you're learning from somebody who's done it. Now, let's forget about me. Let's go back to you. So you get the customers. The key thing, this is the most important thing, you have to create the free audit evaluation. You have to show them what they're doing wrong. The simplest tool to remember in sales to get customers is you have to do problem solution, problem solution. That's how you sell things. Like I have people going, oh, I walked into, the, I walked into this doctor's office and they didn't sign up. I said, well, what did you tell them? You just told them, well, they said, well, I told them I could do their social media. I told them I could do their Instagram. I told them I could help them with email marketing. I told them I could help them optimize their website. I said, but that's only solution. Where's problem? People don't just buy solutions, problems. <laughs> Here's a funny example of that, Viagra. You know why so many people buy Viagra? Because people know it's a serious problem. Hey, if you're a dude and you got issues, Okay, and the doctor goes, uh, you got a problem, my friend. The lady folk ain't too excited to have you around. Problem. And then they go, pill, solution. Let me look this up. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually, let's do $100, the first person to answer this. I don't even know the answer. Ready, set, go. How many Viagra pills ever were sold in history? Let's just look this up. I don't know if it's ever released, so I might not. I might have to change the subject because all these damn Viagra. Let's just do this. Revenue per year of Viagra. How much money does Viagra make per year? And we'll do, okay. What is it projected to be? There's an article on by 2022. What will, Viagra and Viagra-like pill sales B. Who's got it? 32 billion is too high. 45 million is too low. That's our number. What do I see? Three billion is getting closer. There, right there. N underscore O-S-T-Y. Uh, you got it. 3.2 billion. By 2022, in the next five years, is going to reach 3.2 billion. That's 3,000. $200 million. You know how many little pills there are? Why? Problem, solution, problem, solution. So if you're having trouble getting customers, because a lot of people go, I'm not gonna go in your paid program time, I'm just gonna learn it myself. 
Well, okay, you can learn the hard way. And I know people that get discouraged and they burn out and they never do this again because they don't listen to a tried and true formula like the people I've trained. Jaden was got in on day one, one year ago, and it took him exactly two months to make his first 30 Gs, cash. He had it in his bank account. Not literal cash, but he had it in his savings account. So if you're not presenting, pro so what's this, how do you show the problem? I'm gonna show you a couple tools real quick. Um, so the, one of the first things I like to do is obviously pull up their Instagram. I'm gonna walk into a business, I pull up their Instagram. Number two, there's this handy tool called Google Site Speed, okay? Did you, by the way, get a picture of that, what I showed? Did, was that show clear, really? My, yeah, my stripe? Okay. Yeah, I can zoom in, just hold it higher. Did you get there. it, though? Yeah. Okay, so you go here, you can just Google, it, it's Page Speed Insights, okay? You see it. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Okay, you go there, you type in their website, okay? Um, hold on one second. All right, so you, it's actually this page here, developers.google.com. It's a, okay, so you go there, you just type in, I don't know, let's pick a, pick a company that you, let's do Geico. I don't know if Geico is as good or bad. It's probably not the best example, but let's go to geico.com. This is a free tool. Oh, look at that. The mobile website for Geico. <laughs> this is the funniest thing known to mankind. For those of you who can't see, because it might be a little blurry or something. Uh, it says poor. They got a 42 out of 100. So if I was walking into Geico and I was meeting this, I met this uh, the CEO of Geico once, this old guy from Virginia. And I would walk into him and I'd be like, sir, you know you got a billion dollar brand, but your website, Google gives it a 42 out of 100. It gives it an F for people viewing your website through their phone. And they get a, let's see what their desktop score is, a 71, almost an F. What is an F in school? 70? 69? This is 60? I don't know. 59 and below. 59 Really? Yes. A 59 is an F? Yes. Okay, so they're getting a C minus or a D plus on their desktop. Google say, uh, see someone said 69 or less is an F. It depends, I guess, what school you go to. My point being, the large, it says need work. You can show them. How, how are you guys not making money? Poor. Who's going to get Geico as their first customer? I'm actually going to reach out to Geico, but you can do it too if you want to. You go in, problem, solution, problem, solution. Pro and the more problems you hit them with, but let me just tell you this. I know some people that go into businesses, again, they don't follow my step-by-step -step system I created. For 28,000 people, I've done it. But the people who just said, no, Ty, I'm not going to pay. I'm going to do it on my own. They get to pay in the hard They get to pay the hard way. They go in and they say, here's what sucks. Here's what sucks. Here's what sucks. Here's what sucks. And they go, it didn't work. They got mad at me. They got offended. I said, yeah, because you forgot solution, my friend. It's problem then you got to lead them to the solution and the solution is you that's the solution trust me i meet very my grandma's 99 at no time in history has my 99 year old grandma ever been like you know what ty i want you to teach me to tweet better i want you to please teach me to you know improve my linkedin profile when you're 99, my grandma doesn't care. Now, the difference is business owners care because what's the number one problem that businesses have? So, by the way, problem solution, don't forget this. So what's some of the problems? Their site speed, their Insta and Twitter and Facebook engagement sucks. No one comments. But the biggest overarching one that I want you to bring to them that they'll understand is clients and customers. Businesses have a whole setup that they have to have restaurants. One of the people who teaches in my test group is a guy named Joe Soto. He specializes, he, he makes uh, over a million dollars a year. He's got, does he have eight kids or six? He has eight kids, he lives in Washington. A lot of you have seen him on my live streams and my Snapchat. 
and he just works from home and he makes over a million bucks a year. He has customers in Wisconsin and Minnesota and all over the United States, even globally. And one of them was a bar up in, uh, up in I think it was Wisconsin or Minnesota. And he told me, this is how he, how he sold to him. He said, how much is your rent? And their rent was like, I don't know, $20,000 a month. He said, what's your overhead? They're like 50,000, you got employees, you got food, all that. And he said, how much are you making? They said 70 grand and I'm like, oh, that they're not making that much profit, right? The margins are, so he said, what if I could get you to 100 grand a month? And they're like, hell yeah. And he's like, and you only have to pay me two or $3,000 a month. And that's what he did. He added, he got them to 100,000 by doing Facebook uh, ads for them that include promos, free beer, free pizza, you know, a discount coupon system. He advertised it locally on Facebook ads. They love them, they've been clients for years. You know how many restaurants there are? I was in New York City. You guys remember about six months ago on my Snapchat, I'm sitting in this bar. And it was near the NBA Finals, so it was like, I guess, May. And it's this huge sports bar in the heart of Manhattan. You know how expensive that real estate is? So it's this huge sport bar. And I'm like, there's only like two tables of us people in the whole place. There's like 20 tables, two of them are full. And I'm like, this place, if I was this owner, I'd be having a heart attack. Their rent was at least 40 grand a month. And they got two tables and we only spent like, we got, you know, there's 10 of us. We probably spent 300 bucks. That's how much their electricity is for that week. Like we didn't cover anything and I'm going, Dude, someone should walk into this restaurant. If I was starting all over, I'd walk into that restaurant saying problem, solution, your site speed bad, your Insta, your Facebook. I'm gonna bring you clients and customers, my friend. You don't, you tell them you don't have enough. You, you And you wanna flatter them. Don't be completely condescending to people because they don't like that. So you say to them, man, you built a great, because it was a nice restaurant. It was well staffed, it had good food, it had flat screen TVs, it was big, it was nothing wrong with it. You say to the owner, man, this place is awesome, but it's empty, man. And it was like a Thursday night or something. So you don't want to be empty in New York. I can understand a Monday or a Tuesday night. So you come in there and you go, I got the solution. And you tell them the solution is me. I'm an expert, I'm certified, I know how to do this. Let me help you. And you tell them, I'll help you or your money back. We'll talk about that later. You need to have a refund policy and don't be afraid of it. I have a refund policy on everything I do. I stand behind what I do because I know it works. And sure, a few people here and there refund, but it's insignificant because I give people peace of mind by going, I'm so confident in what I'm gonna do for you that if it doesn't work out, you get your money back. Questions, where are we? I've seen some. What's the refund rate? Dude, my refund rate depends on the product, but usually between, and remember I have a 100% money back guarantee, so usually it's between like five and 10%. Most people doing high ticket things online are more like 50 to 30%, it depends. I've got some stuff with lower and some stuff a little bit higher, but I don't like to have a high rate. Uh, Ty is the living Einstein? No, I don't think so. Einstein was on another level for me, man. How do you scale a Facebook page or an Insta? Yeah, that's an advanced talk. I mean, I, I've scaled my Facebook fan page at a million a week. Somebody said, what if the client has no social media accounts? Megan asks. Megan, that's such a good question. That's the best opportunity. Because everybody, unless they got their head in the sand, every business owner knows that they should have an Instagram and Facebook. So you're just like, dude, I'll set it up for you. I'll do all the work for you. You know what's a problem to a lot of business owners? They don't want to learn it. They don't want to log in. They don't. So you say, let me be the solution for you. You just focus on your restaurant. You focus on being a dentist. Let me do the work, my friend. And once you start fulfilling it, you will be their best friend and then they will refer you to their other, other dentist friends. My top student, Jaden, one of the things he did, he, got, he did a good job for one doctor, a cosmetic surgeon in, in Chicago, and then another, and they begin, he had testimonials, he got them to write a letter of how good of a job that he did for them, he showed the letter to new customers. So you get one that you do a good job for, and you continue to show, and then they tell their friends, because most doctors, have friends who are dentists. The doctor's not competitive with a dentist friend. He'll be like, yo, do this. And so you just start getting clients. Joe Soto, one of the teachers in the program. Jaden teaches in my uh, advanced program. I'll put a link up later. This is not a sales presentation, just so you guys know. 
Like I'm giving you tons of free value for those of you who want to go try this for free on your own. You want to learn it, your own trial and error, go for it. About 20% of you should consider going into a guided program. I, when I want to learn anything, dude, I, the first thing I do is go on Google and look if there's a paid program. I really do. I know some people think, oh, that's you saying that because you have paid programs. No, you have it backwards. I started doing paid programs because I look back at what helped me in life. 2001, I was one of the first people to advertise on Google AdWords. You know why? There was a program I found online randomly by a guy named Corey Rudel. I bought it for 500 bucks. And it took me from zero to six figures in nine months. So then guess what I did in the next year? I bought a program from a guy named Carlton Sheets on how to invest in real estate. That one was more expensive. It was like 200 bucks a month. I remember going, how will I afford 200 bucks a month? But then that's how I learned that real estate's not as hard as I thought. Because I grew up in a family that my mom, single mom, she didn't know how to invest in real estate. So the reason I have that, that's why. Okay, the program... What do we have? Gonzal Simon Gonzalez. The programs are awesome. His collaborators are awesome. Yeah. So let's keep going through this free stuff. So that's step number one. By the way, for those of you who don't know my story, I started out, I spent most of my teenage years living in a mobile home. It's funny, my house, my, people see my house in Beverly Hills where I live now, and I'm here in San Diego, I have a beach house. And my... Um, my bedroom and bathroom, I've, his and her bathroom, is bigger. I calculated the square feet. It's like 2,000 square feet, the bedroom and the bathroom and all that. And that's larger than the mobile home that I grew up in. So for all of you watching this, let me just say this, mindset tip. If you're watching this and you're in a crappy situation, you logged into your bank account this morning and stress is through the roof, or you have enough but you know you're underperforming. You see other people around you doing better and they're not smarter than you, they're not working harder than you. I wanna tell you that there's only one thing, there's only one solution to this. There's one solution, and the biggest solution I've ever found is stop blaming and take matters into your own hands. Take matters into your own hands. I promise you, you may think your mother loves you, and I'm sure she does, or hopefully she does, but she only has 50% of your DNA, mathematically. You have 100%. You know how mothers sometimes favor different kids over others? That's because mothers don't have 100% of your best interests in mind, subconsciously. They have their own best interests in mind, and they do love you, but I promise you this. There's only one person in the world that truly 100% cares about your success, it's you. So for those of you who are stuck and you're like going on Twitter and complaining about Donald Trump or you're complaining about economic things or you're complaining about, I see people going nuts about the Rockefellers, the, the Illuminati. I'm like, listen, even if you're right, which I don't think you're right, I don't think the Illuminati and the Rockefellers are controlling everything. But even if they are, so what? What are you going to do about it? Wine? No. There's people getting rich even though the Rockefellers are rich, even though Illuminati. Stop with the conspiracy. The conspir overactivity in conspiracy theories is how I know I'm dealing with somebody that will never do big things. You spend all your time talking about JFK files came out. Okay, big deal. Trump released the JFK thing. What's that have to do with me? What's the Rothschilds have to do with me? Some people who talk and chatter and there's some people who do. And there's some people who comment, and there's some people who drag others down, and there's some people who do. Do you do, or do you whine? We live in a world of whiners right now. Weak-willed individuals. Weak-willed, that's all I can say. And all of us have a little bit of weak will. I'm not saying that I'm 100% strong and things like that, but people lie, but numbers don't. If you're all about doing big things, then just show me numbers, my friend. I've learned if I could be 18 years old again, I wish somebody sat me down, looked me right in the eyes, and said, dude, you're about to go through life where there's a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna yakety yak yak. Look at their numbers and judge that way. If somebody says you're dating someone, they say they really love you, and then they only spend five minutes a week with you, 
That's a number, five minutes. They don't love you. They're BSing you. If somebody tells you, oh, you know, there's no way to make money in the world, look around the world. Is anybody rising up from rags to riches? Because as far as I can tell, there's people rising up every moment from every, every corner of the earth. I remember a couple years ago when I started doing conferences, I was in New York and a guy came up to me and said, I just want you to know, two years ago I was homeless in the streets of Mexico City. One of the most dangerous cities in the world, Mexico City, homeless. And he said, I've been following your stuff. I had a program back then called the 67 Steps. Transform my mentality. Now I'm a real estate investor in Manhattan. I just bought a nightclub and I'm working in investment banking. Two years, rising from rags to riches. So there's also people who fall from inherited wealth to zero. There's also people who win the lottery who rise and then they fall. So it's all about the numbers. I'm not talking about that. It's not that the person with the most money is the best. That's actually not a good way to uh, judge people. The best is where'd you start from and where'd you go now? You could have a million bucks and be an idiot. Maybe you started with $2 million. I had a friend sold his media company in Los Angeles for $18 million in 2007. In 2008, he lost almost all of it. So numbers don't lie. He didn't understand money. He wasn't a magnet for money. He repelled money. He brought it in and then he repelled it away from them. So when you come into these businesses and you want to do social media marketing from them, you need to come in with the mentality that I'm going to show you results, my friend. You can have this exact same talk that I'm giving. You can say, well, I'm going to bring you customers. We're going to put a tracking code on them and you're going to be able to see. One of the things Jaden, my, uh, my top student in the last year in the social media marketing program, one of the things he did is he literally would go to the doctors and say, how many people came in and said they saw you from a Facebook ad I created for you? And he created like 15 customers in one year, uh, one month. 15 customers doing cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery probably averages seven to 10 grand. So he made the guy, whatever, 100 grand. I don't know if it was in a month or in the first quarter or something. But he made the guy, and then he, the guy only paid Jaden like 10 or 20 grand, and he made him an extra 100 in the first three months. The guy, fi the, the, the client, 5x whatever he gave Jaden. Does that make sense? So, for all you listening who don't have a business idea, don't know what to do, catch the trend, get with it. Get with it. This trend's gonna leave people, just like Bitcoin in 2010 left people behind. I was with, I don't know if you guys saw, but I was with a cryptocurrency billionaire, made a billion dollars, billion freaking dollars in cryptocurrency. Um, he was at my house, you know, no one knows the exact number, but it's speculated a billion. Another one of my buddies made $300 million. Numbers don't lie. Some people weren't, I wasn't in in 2010. So I can be like, damn it, I missed that trend because I didn't get with it. And now the numbers don't lie. Now I've made money since 2010, so I'm not impressed, but some of you are going, oh, I, this is my impersonation, not to be mean. Here's my impersonation of 90% of planet Earth right now. Instagram, I watch like people that I'm just like around, I watch them, here's most people, they're like scrolling through their Instagram feed Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Who owns Instagram? Who knows? Who owns Instagram? Mark Zuckerberg, right? So, millions, millions of people doing this all day, clicking on stuff, and he's monetizing social media. You are posting for Mark Zuckerberg. So I see all these people, they're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, nothing wrong with that, but they make no money from social media, but people make money off them. Mark Zuckerberg's worth over $50 billion. Evan Spiegel was the youngest billionaire, self-made billionaire in history to uh, Snapchat. I see people using Snapchat all day. I'm like, when will you turn social media into money for yourself? Or are you just the sucker in the room? Because my mentor, Alan Asia, told me, when you're in the room after 30 minutes, if you don't know who the sucker is, you're the sucker. If you're on social media for 30 minutes today and you don't know who the sucker is, then you're the sucker. I'm not saying you are a sucker for using social media. I'm saying if you don't know how to use it for your advantage, you can't just make Mark Zuckerberg rich. The average person spends 80 bucks a month on Starbucks. That's a thousand bucks a year. Thousand bucks a year. Okay. You, who's one of the richest men in the world? 
100 bucks to the person who says, tells me, who's the founder of Starbucks? Let's go. $100. Who is the founder of Starbucks? He actually bought it. He didn't even start the idea. Not Evan Spiegel. <laughs> Starbucks. Not Snapchat, my friend. What about the third person? Did I say Gordon? Nope. Jeff Bezos? Nope. Who started it? Third person. I see the first one. Jerry Baldwin. No, I'm talking about the person who took Starbucks to where it is now. Bezos, Magic, Johnson, nope. <laughs> Here we go. Da Vinci watches, Howard Schultz. He was the third person I saw. Instagram, 100 bucks on PayPal. You know why? Because everybody in the world basically at one point or another gets Starbucks. I don't even drink coffee and occasionally I end up with friends in a Starbucks. So my question is for you, each of you, why can't coffee turn into revenue for you? Uh, my brother's in Hawaii right now with a guy who has this coffee substitute. It's not coffee, but it's a substitute for it. And he's selling six, he's a wholesaler of it. It's some herb or something. I forget what it's called. He's selling $6 million a month. Huh? Yeah, I forget the name. Six million bucks a month. So that guy watched everybody else being used. I'm not saying you're bad, you're an idiot for using Starbucks and drinking coffee. I'm saying you're an idiot if your life sucks and you're not using all the tools around you to monetize. Monetize. So what I'm telling you today, the whole point of this presentation is you didn't realize it. You, Because you heard of me. You're watching this because you saw me on social media. I reached 200 million people. Uh, last year on social media, 200 million. So what did that teach me? Wow, social media is powerful. It's monetizable, it's money. It's money and it, no reason you can't have a piece of that pie. We don't have to be greedy. I'm not keeping all my secrets to myself. I launched multiple, bit. I got a business that sells sleep glasses. Let's see how much, it's a new business, so it's not making as much money, but let's see. I'll check, this is not a screenshot, this is me logging into Shopify. How much did it make today on Shopify? $1,700 selling glasses, it sold 24 glasses. And we have an Amazon, I don't have the Amazon app on this phone, but we did about triple that. So it makes about 5,000 a day selling glasses. You can see right here, in the last month, it's made $11,800 here. Plus on Amazon, we probably did about, we did about 80 grand. So it did a little under 100,000. But even if you only made 11 grand in a month, you know how much work I put into that glasses business? I don't know, 30 seconds a day maybe. In fact, that's the only work that I've done on it today was <laughs> pressing the Shopify to show you guys. If you can make 11,000 bucks a month, now that's gross sales, it's not all profit, but still 30 seconds a day. Like I said, it makes about 100,000 a month. So it's netting about 20 or 30,000 dollars a month. I'm one, there's 33% ownership I have. There's three of us that own it. So they do, that's kind of the, and how are we marketing it? Social media. So you can go out and people who have products, you can contact people with Amazon stores. Hey, I'll do your social media for you. I'll help you grow this thing. Drop ship. So today you can see one business, did 1700 the stripe business did 21,000 so it's about 23,000 and I get my email reports here you can see this is my hourly report let me refresh it this business has made 42,702 so so far today made about 65,000 and the day's not even close to being done $65,000 that's all using social media marketing. So each of you, those of you who are scared, who are worried, who wonder if this works, it's already working. I didn't build this program. I didn't start teaching this till I was sure that it worked. For me, a low, slow day, I'll make 50 grand online. And I have different businesses. I have real estate. I have other stuff that's not on the internet. But that's 50 grand. A good day is 200 grand. So on average, I make about $100,000 a day in my different businesses, and that's just two or three businesses. I have multiple businesses, right? You can eventually diversify. I highly recommend, here's an agency. What name should you choose? 
If you can't pick a name, just put your last name. What's everybody's last name? Let me start getting some ideas on how I would name my company. The beauty of using your last name, you use your last name, then you go to GoDaddy or Namecheap, and you just add the word agency, Namecheap. Let me just show you an example of how to name your company. Peralta, there you go. Peralta socialmedia.com or you can add the word agency if you want. Don't worry if the domain name's long. Always buy the .com. Don't use .net, don't use .org. If it's not available, add another word onto it. .com, then, so you go to GoDaddy, it'll cost you $10 to register your name. It can be three, I say two to four words put together. Cooper, there you go. So Cooper Social Media Agency. Lozada, Jimenez, Body Edifice, that's someone at Smith, Smith Social Media Marketing Agency, four or five words is fine, Thornton, Snyder, Rubio, Steely, Johnson, Kale, I mean, you're ready to go, don't make the name complicated, you're the solution, sell yourself, you can also name it other names if you want to have, you know, you live in Flagstaff, Arizona, you can call it Flagstaff Social Media Marketing Agency. The problem with that is you might pick up clients around the world, around the country. Don't limit yourself to just your location, okay? So under 10 bucks, you got your domain. The next step is, and we talk about this in the course, but I'll give you guys, like I said, a free version of it. Go to, I recommend you go to LegalZoom.com. What's the cheapest, Armin, for LegalZoom now? By the way, I'm not paid by LegalZoom. I don't make a penny. If you wanna do it with a lawyer, you can pay triple the cost. I recommend you do LegalZoom. What's the, uh, what's the cost of the cheapest LegalZoom? Was it 200 bucks? For an LLC? Yeah. Yeah, 200 bucks. I think it's about 200 bucks. <clears throat> so you can go there. It's like 200 to $400 to incorporate. The reason you want to incorporate, just use the name. So if it's Lorenzo Social Media Marketing Agency, they'll do the check for you to make sure no one else is using it because you don't want to use a name that's already in trade, right? You'll get, in tr you'll get sued potentially for that. Uh, they'll do the name search for you to make sure it's all set up. Boom, LegalZoom, two, 400 bucks. If they do the name search. The other thing is that they'll, they'll give you some guidance in general, most people are doing LLCs or S Corps if you're in the US, but you can talk, if you have a lawyer friend, you can ask their opinion. But in general, that's a very common thing, LLCs or S Corps. Uh, I know people that will do a C Corp, but that's more complicated, okay? So if you wanna keep it simple, the reason you, the next thing, you just go to your local bank once that's done. By the way, you get started before this is even done, if you want to. So you take your, you go set up a business bank account. Don't use your personal one. Create separation, be professional about it. So let's say your business, we talked about a person was Lorenzo, Lorenzo Social Media Marketing Agency, goes to LegalZoom, enters the name search, spends a little money. If you don't have the money to do this, you can do this later once you have the money. Then you go to your bank, whatever bank you're at, Bank of America, you can go to Chase, you can go to HSBC, wherever you are, and you show them the paperwork that LegalZoom will email you and they'll let you open up a business bank account. There you go, now you're set to go. Then you can use Stripe, okay? If you wanna collect credit cards from the customers, you can go to a couple different websites. You can use PayPal, so you can use Stripe. You can use Braintree. These will allow you to charge people's credit card once a month. So if you set up a business for $1,000 a month, you can get cash from them, you can get checks from them. I, I generally, I don't recommend cash, but some people love cash. Um, so you do that. Uh, and then the next thing, so you got the name, you got the website. Now how do you get a quick website up? Easy. You can make a quick, so this is how you collect the money. Now you need a website. You, I recommend, we talk about this in the program, you can use WordPress, you can use Wix, you can do Shopify, and you can do ClickFunnels, okay? 
I don't have time to explain each of these right now or we'll be here all day. And I gotta go in a little bit. Plus I start losing my voice, but I got some people going over. We're gonna go out to eat. WordPress, Wix, Shopify, ClickFunnels. So you build your little website. You can do most everything I've showed you, you can be done with in one day. This does not take a week. This does not take a year. This does not take a month. It's like super easy. You, you don't need a complicated website. You just don't need a complicated one. So now you're in business. You can be in business before all this is done. I'm just giving you guys, deep. people are like, Ty, I want details. I'm giving you very specific details. Um, so then we talked about, if you go back, by the way, if you're joining us late, we're talking about how to build a social media marketing agency and get three to, how my top clients give you three to five people paying them. 10 people, you'll get one. What I want to show you was right here. Actually right back here. Man, we covered a lot of stuff. Look at all this. Here we go. So how to get customers, we, we kind of skipped ahead what to charge, but let me talk about what to offer real quick. Okay, so what do you offer? I recommend you have four packages. You have the, the basic, you have the, uh, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it advanced. You can call this your VIP level and you can call this your enterprise. It's always better to have multiple options. When you go to McDonald's or you go to Burger King, even in and out Burger, they give you at least four options. People like a little bit of choice. You don't want too much choice or people get confused. But you come in here and you're like, my basic package is $9.97 a month. You allow 100% money back guarantee. They cancel whenever they want. I recommend you can do $19.97 or you can do $24.95 here. Your VIP should be $4,995 a month. And then your enterprise, I recommend 9997 a month, roughly 10 grand a month, okay? All this, by the way, I'm a business owner. I, people, I pay all kinds of different people who do work for me more than 10 grand a month, okay? So you got these packages, try to start them here and move them up progressively as you show them more and more of your skills, okay? You, show, you can show them more and more of your skills just by doing that. So, next thing. So, oh, what's the difference? The basic package, I recommend at the very beginning, you just focus on a few things. You don't need, not all businesses need Twitter. A lot of businesses don't need Snapchat. What businesses need and what you're offering them and the difference between these packages is basically how much advertising you'll manage for them. So you can do Facebook ads. Facebook ads, you can learn to do it. We have videos on how to do it. If you go in the program, I'll put up a link a little bit. I'll be showing you these things. Basically, um, at the enterprise level, 10 grand a month, you're taking some of that money and you're spending it on ads for them. Does that make sense? So it's very important that you understand that you don't still don't have to do a million things for all these people. Don't, that's a common mistake. People taking on, it's better to do less and do it right, if that makes sense. Okay? So the next thing, so we got that. You got your enterprise package. Now, here's the basics of what I recommend you help them with. I help, I recommend that the most important thing is you start with Facebook and you also help them build an email list. Why? Facebook, it's simple. Facebook's is, the, Facebook's is the largest social media platform in the world. So it gives, them the, it gives you the most opportunity to bring them customers because it's the largest. It's also connected to Instagram. Email, why would you want to do email? Because email marketing still makes a tremendous amount of money. And I put email into social media because even though it's not technically social media, it is kind of social media. You get people that subscribe to your list, that's the same as subscribe to your Instagram. Email is the email lists are the original Facebook and Instagram. Okay? That's the original one. So, you come in here, you're doing this, start with simple things, then on the other occasionally depending on the business um, I will add more things to it. 
So if it's a, a business that has a lot of young customers, I would, I would add Snapchat to it if it's a lot of young customers. If it's a much older business, I would add probably YouTube, okay? Uh, if, it's, if, it's, if they have more budget and are willing to pay, I would add in, you can add in podcasts if you're working, for example, authors can hire you. You can go to people who have a book and say, I'll help you market this book. Movies. You have a friend who's producing a movie, uh, you can basically go in, say, hey. Resetting Instagram. Yeah, right reset now. Instagram. You just tell them, I'll help you grow your, you know, movie. Most movies suck. Baywatch made, lost like $40 million because they didn't have good marketing. I talked to some of the people in Hollywood. I was like, you guys forgot to market this movie with The Rock. It was just horribly marketed. And they spent like $100 million, or $60 million on the movie. And they forgot to market it. It was also not a good movie. But besides that. So you can start. Then you can add in Twitter. You can add in. I would add in Instagram for many businesses. Especially if they're selling a specific product. If it's a dentist office. Instagram isn't always the most important. Right? Nobody's going to. You're not going <laughs> to show people like teeth. Here's me fixing people's teeth. Like an Instagram video like that. I mean maybe you could do like a funny video like that. But. Yeah, I wouldn't do too much. But some business, especially if they're selling a product, if they're selling food, snack bar. I was with the founder of Quest, snack bars. They're selling 1.5 million bars a day. It's worth a billion dollars. If you saw, we went to the basketball, the Clippers game Sunday. And I asked him how he got started with Quest Bar. And he said, simple, we used influencer social media marketing. He did exactly what we're talking about here, Tom Bilyeu. So. You got Twitter and Instagram. You can add podcasts if you're working for authors or business owners that uh, want to get their personal name out there, want to be recognized as an expert. Uh, as an expert, you can do marketing for events, nightclubs, conferences. They all suck at social media. Look, I was at the number one club in the world by revenue. Um, I actually got to go and meet uh, Calvin Harris. Can you guys fix that? Uh, Mick, meet Calvin Harris. I was in the, in the, it was funny, I met Calvin Harris and he goes, dude, I've been wanting to meet you. I watched your, YouTube, I saw your YouTube videos. It's amazing, dude, social media reaches everybody. Sunday, two days ago, or three days ago or whatever, I met, um, uh, I was at Complex Con and Jaden Smith was there, Will Smith's son, same thing. He's like, oh, I watch your YouTube videos. Like, that's how big social media is. So let me just show you something about nightclubs for those of you who want another potential customer. You go to nightclub like Omnia or Excess in Vegas. Omnia Club right there. They got 300,000 likes, uh, followers on Instagram. But look how bad, like they get 2,000 likes. I mean, think about this. They pay Calvin Harris $400,000 per set for him to perform. And they don't have any videos with Calvin Harris. I'm like, did you forget Calvin Harris? They got one picture with girls. It's not even a good picture. Like, one of the things you'll learn in my program, for those of you who get in when I put the link up, you learn about how to create a brand story. So this is the other thing. You wanna, basically, you have to work on their brand story. Jaden, my top student, last year, 2016. I'm looking for a new top student, by the way. Who's gonna be? 2017, I mean 2018. He was the biggest for 2017, sorry. Who gonna be the biggest for 2018? That's my question. So, he said the biggest thing that he learned was how to create a brand story. Like you kinda see like Geico doing it. They had like the Geico gecko and they had like the camel. But it's, uh, it's not that good, you know what I'm saying? It's not that good of a brand story. You can create a better brand story for people. So, yeah, by the way, Omnia does two to three hundred million dollars in revenue and they can't get their Instagram game up. They got the most beautiful women in the world going to their nightclub. They have the top DJs in the world going to their nightclub and they can't get more than 2,000 likes. That's an opportunity for you. A big opportunity for you. I need you guys to be taking these opportunities. One of the things that makes people millionaires, very simple. They grab opportunities before other people. People are slow to the game. There's people now just realizing they could sell online. Like two years ago when I said, hey, sell online, people are like, oh, that's a scam. 
It's a scam. And I'm like, 1994? Most important year for everybody here is 1994. That's the year Jeff Bezos quit his job, his high paying job. I just was at a little talk he did in Los Angeles, richest man in the world. He passed Bill Gates, he passed Zara, he passed Warren Buffett. 1994, he quit his job. He told the story. I was right there a couple rows back watching him tell his story. He quit his job, started, he said, I, I decided I was gonna go sell books online. Isn't that funny, books? Ironic, I do a lot of stuff with books. 1994, that's way more than how many years? That's more than 20 years ago. And people still think that online is a scam, but now Amazon has passed every old school business. It's past Sears, it's past Walmart, it's past Kmart. People buy online. So you go into the business owner and you tell them, hey, 1994, Mr. Pizza owner, 1994, Mr. Dennis, 1994, Mr. Nightclub, let me bring you up to speed. Let me bring you up to speed so that you're making money. And business owners, not everybody will get it. Just like on this call, half the people are like, oh, they're like, this is how the world basically is, by the way. 33% of people are cynical, haters. This is a rough estimate, obviously. 33% of people are gullible. They're what we call suckers. And 33% of people get it. Which category are you in? Some people go, Ty, I don't wanna be gullible sucker. Do you think selling online, do you think social media is some new thing that you're being suckered into? I'm like, what the hell? People are cynics. Some people, anything they see, some people say to me, oh Ty, an online program that you sell, that's a scam. I'm like, well, is buying a book at Barnes and Noble a scam? People say, never pay for information, you can get it all free. So if you go to Barnes and Noble and you buy a book, for 50 bucks or 20 bucks or 10 bucks, did you get scammed? No. Well, guess what the best way to learn now is? Your grandchildren are gonna laugh. They're gonna say, you learned in a classroom? Wait, let me get this straight. You went to some history teacher that was probably trained as a gym teacher. You sat there for eight hours by some person read to you out of a textbook. They're like, you know how we learn now? We learn online, we learn through you know, virtual reality. We want to learn about the Civil War. We put a headset on and we go back to the Civil War recreation and we can remember the dates and we know it because not, it wasn't yet. Everything is becoming outdated and the cynics never see that. So cynical people are like, well, no, the only way to learn is in college. The only way to learn, okay, be left behind, my friend. Let me tell you the penalty for each of these. The penalty for here is you always miss trends. You know how many people were skeptical about Bitcoin? Now, maybe Bitcoin will crash, but it already made some of my friends billionaires. Last year, I was, I was at, there was this coin conference, it was a cryptocurrency Bitcoin conference in Las Vegas. I was with a whole bunch of dudes that last year, they were sleeping in their parents' house. Now they got 100 million cash and they cashed in. So even if Bitcoin crashes, they got 100 mil. All the skin, it, the, the cynics and the haters, they go, oh, uh, Bitcoin's a scam. Okay, tell my friend that. I got 100 million bucks. If that, he didn't scam anybody. He bought Bitcoin. So the penalty for being gullible is you'll make money and people will take it from you. My friend made 18 million bucks. Somebody told him to do a stupid real estate deal and build real estate in the middle of the desert outside Las Vegas where no people are. Well, he was a gullible sucker, so he lost his 18 million bucks. Where's the happy median? Where's the people that... um aren't cynical and aren't suckers. Pessimist, optimist, realist. Pessimist, optimist, realist. If you don't think selling is online uh, is, is a big thing, if you don't think social media is the way of the future, you are missing a trend, you're a pessimist. An optimist would literally quit everything they're doing and instantly go, I'm gonna be a millionaire using social media online. You're not gonna be a millionaire instantly overnight. That's too gullible. Please, I need the realist. Who here is a realist? Just be honest. Who here is a pessimist? Who here is an optimist, overly optimistic? And who's here 
Who here is a realist? I need to know. Just say what you are. Realist. Who's, what are you? Real, realist, pessimist, optimist. Not everybody's allowed to say realist. Okay, everybody's saying realist. <laughs> there we go. Someone, thank you. The first person said they're uh, an optimist. Someone said, David Trigueroa says they're naturally negative. Bermuda Zone said optimist. Pessimist. Thank you for being honest. Now, remember what did I say? I said, people lie but blank. What doesn't lie? People lie but what doesn't? 100 bucks, first person. Fifth person I see. Where's my cash? 100 bucks, the first person. People lie but blank don't. Third person I see. The first person. The third person. We're going around here. Somebody said nuns. <laughs> there we go. Justin UN 16. Numbers don't lie. So, for all of you say you're a realist, how's your bank account doing? Is it going up? Are you catching trends? Are you utilizing them? Are you selling online? Are you starting a social media marketing agency? Like, numbers don't lie. So, I, that's why I showed you. Some people go, oh, Ty, do you know what you're talking about? I'm like, well, I show numbers. I log into my bank account. I log into my Stripe account. I log into my Instagram. And I say, don't believe me. I could be lying to you. I could be turning you into a sucker. But when you see the numbers, then people go, wow, that's real. Okay? Hold on one second. All right, so all right. Next, we got a couple more things to cover. Then I want to open up this test group. Is there any questions right now? Somebody said, "I live in San Diego. I'd love to buy you a drink sometime." <laughs> Okay, third thing. So you gotta know how to get a customer, you gotta know what to offer them, and you have to know how to price it. And the last thing I'm gonna get to real quick, but maybe the most important is step four, which is how do you fulfill? Okay, once you're gonna eat, once you start making money, you got money coming in, you gotta do the job for them. Here's the beauty of what I'm showing you. If you do this correctly, and you don't say I'm gonna do all your social media. If you say you're gonna do all your social media, you just created a big job for yourself. You got a tweet for them every day, Facebook, Instagram. If you just say, like I recommended at the beginning, let's get your Facebook ads up and let's get Instagram going. Let's just focus on those, I'm sorry, an email. So the simplest way to fulfill is these people, these dentists, these, most of these people already have a website. You get the phone number of the person who manages their website, and you go to something like, you can use MailChimp. You set up a MailChimp account for them. That'll take 30 minutes or less of work. You plug in the email. Uh, you plug in the email. There's a little form, a piece of code. You, give, you just email it to their web person. And now you have created an email list for them. And then it runs on its own. And you can send out once a week an email newsletter or once a month. All right, so that's one piece of work. Each client shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes a week to do that for them. The next thing you can do is you can start playing around with Facebook ads for them, okay? So you can just spend five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. So the next thing you do, I would start by doing some, if you have a restaurant, you do a quick promotion. Literally like, you know, $2 beers or something like that. And then you advertise it to local business, local people who are in the vicinity of the restaurant that's a client of yours. And you just spend five bucks. And then you just observe and you start gathering data. And you test a few different ads and you test $1 bill or $3 beers for them. And you, you do you know Taco Tuesdays and just simple stuff like that. 
You can also, if you have a doctor's office or a restaurant or, or a landscaper, you tell them every client that comes in, get them to put their email and opt in like a rewards program like Starbucks so that you start building a follow-up list so that once a week, once a month, you can send uh, a message to them, reminding them, yo, even dentists, like my dentist does it. I, he's such a good guy, we're friends, but he like, like he forgets to send me an email. It's weird. He doesn't send emails to remind me that I need my teeth cleaned. So, um, it's kind of bizarre. Okay. Okay, all right. Now, let me just talk real quick about something. I can give you this formula. I gave you a, we've been going for an hour plus minutes. Here's the, the thing that I wanna talk about that I've seen with this. The problem in life is not just what you do or don't know. One of the problems in life, problems of what I just showed you. Why won't it work? Number one reason, right here, boy procrastination kills hopes and dreams some of you this is why I said I'm about to open up this test group a uh, special one that I've created with a lot of bonuses you're gonna get and um, it's only for 20% of you I know at least 50,000 people are watching this live and um, this is such a big thing that it literally precludes 80% of people who watch from even having a chance at this. It's not whether it works or not. It works. Business owners spend money on marketing. They want to spend it on social media. There's actually not enough people doing this. That's one of the problems. But let me ask you this. In the last 18 months, Peter Drucker says the best Time frame to look back and look forward is 18 months. In the last 18 months, is there anything major that you procrastinated off, on? It could be a job thing. It could be somebody you saw that you wanted to ask out on a date. It could be a book you knew you should read, would help you out, but you're like, first I'll do this and then I'll do that. And then you just never got to it. What's the biggest thing you procrastinated? Somebody said laundry. Okay. Did you guys see the Instagram video I posted with the U.S. Admiral and he said if you want to change the world first make your bed every day by making your bed you by not procrastinating on that you rewire your brain literally your brain is like almost like a machine that can be rewired they call it neural pathways and you can rewire or incorrectly wire those neural pathways that's what people there you ever have a friend that no matter what they're gonna do something stupid it's not even their fault anymore they're rewired for failure so when you rewire wire your brain to always procrastinate, I guarantee you almost every hope and dream you have will be killed before it even started. Weight loss, somebody said, going to the gym. Who here means to work out every day and only works out once a week? Who here means to not eat junk food, but you know, well, I'll, I'll go on a diet later, I don't know, I'll, I'll lose weight later. Like Procrastination, they should rename the modern world, not planet Earth. Why don't they rename it planet procrastination? I feel like now with Google and all the free information in the world and all the books and all the stuff like I'm doing right now, like there's people know or can learn what to do. It's out there, but people are too stupid to do it. It blows my mind. It, it's, it's part, I, I, maybe I'm mean to call it stupidity, but at some point doesn't procrastination become stupidity? Like wh wh where is the line? Where procrastination is just simple, oh, I don't have time for it, but like it turns into actual, just you're dumb. I think we've crossed over to kind of the dumb stage. I see it all around me and I'm just going, and then I see a handful of people and it's always the handful 
that are killing it more than anybody has in history. There has never been more self-made billionaires under 25 years old than in the last five years. Never. There's never been billionaires created faster in history except for people who inherit money. But self-made billionaires... A guy uh, in 2016 started a website. Nine months later, he sold it for $3.2 billion to Walmart. It was called Jet.com. It was a competitor with Amazon. He sold it for $3 billion profit. Profit. That was his profit in nine months. Name a time. Rockefeller didn't do that. Carnegie didn't do that. Bill Gates didn't do that. Bill Gates took 19 years to become a billionaire from 12 to 31. Warren Buffett took till he was age 50 and he started at seven. So it took him 43 years. So now we live in a world where Evan Spiegel's a billionaire in under three years. Uh, Kevin Systrom sells Instagram for a billion dollars in three years. Dollar Shave Club in LA just sold for $1.2 billion started, I don't know. I mean, it didn't really get big, but for the last two or three years. Quest Bars, I was just, I told you, Tom Billiow, it's worth a billion dollars. He started it seven years ago. He didn't even work full time on it in the beginning. Seven years or less, billion dollar. My buddy sold a company online for 4.1 billion cash. I mean, I'm waiting for people to kind of like, that's why I said, at what point does procrastination and cynicism become stupidity? I think we crossed the line. That's just kind of how I think. I think we crossed the line. And so ask yourself, wh where are you in the game, in this game? Which category are you? Are you crossing over into the death of hopes and dreams? It's eventually, if you kill all your hopes and dreams, in my mind, you've passed into moron land. And um, I got good news for those of you who aren't. Warren Buffett says if it wasn't for the stupidity of most people, he wouldn't be so rich. He actually says, I don't deserve to be so rich. A lot of the stuff I do, anybody could do, but he's like, no one does it. So get excited. I never get mad. Like sometimes people watch me and they're like, oh, are you triggered? I'm like, no. I'm more like, I feel like it's more bizarre is the best word. I'm more like surprised. I would say I get surprised because it's in the news like I, I show screenshots of all, you know how many people? Let me show you testimonials for people who got in my social media marketing group. I had to create a special WhatsApp group just, I'll show you. Here's the testimonials. Okay, if you go on WhatsApp here, it's kind of cool. You can click and you can see all the media links. There is 687. This isn't all of them. This is just ones in the WhatsApp group. 687 videos and screenshots of success. It's insane. And remember, most people are just successful and don't send anything in. It, that's 687 people that took the time out to log into their bank account, send their bank account, take a video, show their stuff, send screenshots, show letters from lawyers, show letters from, I'm like, it's not like one person. Some people are like, oh, Ty, you're just talking about your top student. Yeah, but there's thousands of other success stories. So for those of you who aren't cynical, who aren't procrastination, uh, who aren't procrastinating, I wanna, I'm gonna put up a link in a second. You might see a button here, depending on where you're watching this. See a, on a button, click the button, and uh, you can get access to a test group I've created. So I created the first test group one year ago, and I've made a few, and then we've closed them. And we've gotten better at this. It's actually the best time to get in is now. One year ago, if you would have got in the program, it had like three videos. Now, how many videos are there, Alec, roughly? Probably like 70, 70 or 72. Yeah, I think there's, so now there used to be like two or three. Now there's 70 lessons from how many teachers, you think? It's 16 different people teaching. I teach the stuff I'm good at. Joe Sto Soto teaches. Jaden's in there teaching. We're, I brought in all, all these people. Can you grab Jaden on there? Yeah. And let me just put up the link. I'm going to actually FaceTime with Jaden so you guys can ask questions directly to one of my top students. Just literally just ask him like, yo, Jaden, how did it work for you? He's not paid to say anything. You know, can you guys watch the gate, please? Somebody's here. 
I've got some people coming, but I'm going to stay here talking with you guys. Okay. Oh, let, let, here, do it. Let me put this up for a second okay. and then call him back. Right, I'll call Sorry. you right back. Jaden, we'll call you back. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. You want to swap this out. So I'm going to put up a, a link. What is the actual? Okay. So. Uh, no, I don't so you can. If you don't see the button on the page, if you want to get in the test group, four month test group, and I'm about to share with you what I'm going to teach you, you can just also just go, stop watching this live right now, and just go to tylopez.com slash market. That'll get you access, it'll explain what you're going to get, it'll explain how much it costs, it'll explain all this. I've given you tons of stuff, we just talked for an hour and 25 minutes or so on a whole bunch of free things. I showed you what website to build with, I showed you how much to charge, which uh, to use first, how to do site speed audits, how to do all this stuff, right? So I'm also showing you guys um, now who are more serious about this, who want me and my team to personally mentor you through this in the next four months. You can just go right here or you can just click on the button that's on this page. It's better to just click on the button if you see it, okay? I want you to get access. I'm gonna read off names of people who are getting in. If you're committed to learning how to turn social media money marketing into money for you and not just Mark Zuckerberg and not just Evan Spiegel, this is the link for you. If you are weird, don't do it. If you are cynical, if you don't think this works and is real, don't do it. We honest, I honestly don't care. Let me tell you this one thing. You know why I became an entrepreneur? There's one primary reason. People see, they're like, oh, I'll tell you, you got it two Rolls Royce and two Lamborghinis and houses around the world. Oh, that, that's not why I wanted money. That's a byproduct that came later. The primary reason, I never want to be somebody's bitch, ever. My number one, I, you know, from a little kid, they used to ask me, what animal would you be if you could be any animal? And I was always like an eagle, a bird. And someone said, why? And I was like, well, because then if I don't like the situation, I just go away. I fly away from bad situations. So. I think I'm still like that now. You know, you're always just a little kid at heart. And now, if I meet somebody, you're like, Ty, prove to me why I should be in one of your programs. I'm like, no, I'm not your bitch. Like, don't be in it. I'll actually tell. You know how I got a guy right now that wants to pay me $100,000 to consult with him. And I've met him before, and I don't like him. He's an annoying guy. And I'm like, nope. And it's funny. He started out, he's like, I'll give you 20 grand, 20 grand for one hour. And we're like, nope. And then he's like, 50, nope, 75, nope, 100. I, he's gonna, I don't care. So for all of you who are weird, just we refund, once in a while we just refund people their money. God, I can't tell you how many weird people there are on the internet. I've had some weird people, I'm like, call my staff, I'm like, refund this person. I don't even want their name associated. I don't want some crazy person associated with anything that I'm doing. And I don't mean that to be mean, I'm just like a realist and I'm like, so for all of you who are on the border and on the fence, please don't go there. It's not reverse psychology either. The 33% of cynical people in the world, when I say please don't buy, they're like, oh, try is trying to do, they think they're so smart because they learned the phrase reverse psychology. Wow, Sigmund Freud, you are such a genius to think, to be like, see, I figured that out all on my own. I'm not using reverse psychology. I'm serious, I don't care. And um, yeah, but what I care about is cool people. If you're cool, if you're ready to go, if it makes sense to you, if it's logical, like, then go. You know what Yoda said? I love it. Do or do not, there is no try. I, I tell some people, it's good to make a decision you don't wanna do stuff. So just don't do it if it's not for you. If you don't care about social media, you don't wanna have your own business, if you don't think you can do this, then don't do it. It'll be fine. Everybody will be fine. You'll be fine. You'll find something else to do, and I'll be fine. I've made enough money that um, no one person affects me at all. So it's kind of cool. I hope you guys will get there too, by the way. Please get to that place in life where you're nobody's bitch. Being a bitch of somebody is the number one way to have a horrible life.
So, let me see. I'm gonna check. I get little real time reports. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna open up my Yahoo right here. I, when you guys start making money, set up a little reports here. There we go. A He-Man. That is an interesting name. Christopher Howard. Congratulations. Cool. Christopher Howard, I think, from Louisiana. Are you guys still awake? That's kind of cool. Nathan Grimmett. Congratulations. Did the site crash again? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's hilarious. I think it's with that ball will go at the same time. All right. Don't go so fast to get in this program. This is the second time this week that the... Did you talk to Rob? My CTO has to come in. Okay, if the site crashed, hold your horses. Okay? I think it's like before. It's loading. Yeah, it's loading. It's okay, it's loading just slowly. Because, yeah, we gotta, we're gotta. we switching some servers and crap around. We use lots of stuff, but sometimes you get too much traffic. So those of you who want to get in, I haven't even told you what you're about to get. So let me explain what you're about to get. While the site is recovering. Don't go so fast. You know, sometimes people are like, are you really serious? I'm like, yes, because it crashes my damn site sometimes for too many people to go. Okay. Can you just put that in front here? Let's just put it in front. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so here's how it works. You're gonna get a four month program. If you complete it, you get a certification at the end from me. It works now? Yeah, it's faster. Okay, we optimize some stuff. It'll reload. Okay, what you're gonna get, it's called, a, it's called SMMA. It's a term I like invented. Can you put that off to the side a little more? So it's a four month program. So first thing is, if you get in today on this live call, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have not done this for the last year, by the way. So this is brand new. Remember I told you this is a new improved version? I am going to come on calls once a month with you and be live and I'll personally coach you, you can ask me. I have not done that ever before. Okay, so whoever gets in, the guys, and girls that are getting in first right now, you'd be the first people to get that in. Ty, that's a different live call where we get SMA has weekly calls with like experts like Jim Yeah, but I'm gonna be on. Sweet. So it has more calls. It has a whole weekly thing, but I'm gonna come on once a month, just so you know. And I've never done that before. I've never been on one SMA live call. Nope. So you guys getting in today, you will see me in person. So all this success people have had is with me just pre-recording videos and uploading them to the password protected members only site. So I'll actually be on it. Okay. Yeah, where's the benefit stack? That's what I need. Do we have that on a different one? Okay. So these are the bonuses. I'm gonna give you eight bonuses. All right. Number one, you're gonna get access to this weekly thing, but I'll be on there once a month. You're gonna get what's called a members only portal. One of the most important things, because some people are like, dude, I can just hack your website. And say, no, you can't just, even if you found these videos that you could download somewhere, I have a, you know like private Facebook group? I have a private SMMA group, which 25,000 people have access to. So you can ask a question and the other 25,000 other people who have gotten the program can answer and t share with you their experience. That alone, by the way, is worth the whole price. Just so you know, it's worth the whole price. Because I don't have all the answers. Like if you have a very specialized thing like lawn care or something like that, or you get a client who's like, does, I don't know, sells flat screen TVs, that's not my experience. But someone in there has done that before. So it's kind of cool because you can go in there and ask a question and get it answered in less than 24 hours from the whole group. That'll also keep you motivated. I'm gonna give you access to this vault. So we've had over 25 hours of content, of live calls in the group that you've already missed in the last year. So I told my team, put all those in one class, 
one bonus class and give people access. If you want to know what you've missed out on the last year, I put it all in what we call the vault, the social media marketing vault. Okay, you're gonna get access to that. This is one of the most important things. This is maybe a favorite of a lot of people, and I wanna put it back in. It's called my Green Belt Program on how to close sales. Sales and persuasion. I invented my own system. There's no book on it. There's nothing. I invented it. So I can promise you there's nothing. It's called the PACE system. Practical, action, social, emotional. I'll teach you how to read people. You walk into a business, you need to know what the business owner is. If you try to close a practical person using action energy, they'll move away from you. Practical people like slow, methodical, logical closes. If you're an action person and you're like, sign today, da 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 da, they'll be like, whoa, buddy, and they'll close the door on you. If you're with an emotional person and you try to use a social, you'll probably offend them. So let's say you're really social and you like jokes and you're funny and you're like, ha ha ha, and you're talking to an, a business owner, potential customer who's an emotional person, and you'll be like, oh, your hair looks funny, and they're like, <laughs> Zach laughed at that. Zach is very sensitive. No, because I know people that freaking offend every. I had a friend. I'm not going to say his name. He literally, sadly, he literally ended up in a mental, mental institution two years ago. But he used to talk the most crap. And if somebody said one thing back to him, he would like cry. It was weird. We'd go out like to bars and stuff. And he'd be like going up to girls. Like he was always trying to hit on women. And he'd be like, Oh, that's a weird outfit. And the girl would turn around and be like, you're ugly. And he would like, he would literally cry. And I was like, dude, you know nothing about people, man. You come off and you project one energy and then they respond with the same energy and then you fail. So there's a whole system I created, um, probably online. I don't know if I've sold the most stuff in history, like educational stuff, but probably I have. So I've reached 200 million people. I can tell you about the psychology of selling from my own experience. And so this is a $2,000 package right here. $2,000 is what we charge if you wanna get this alone. But I told my team, I want you to be successful. My main goal is success stories. The more success stories we get, the better for business. People have it wrong, man. Like I love success stories. Literally, the more success stories I get, the easier everything becomes. So, um, Hey, Nathan, is Nathan here? Can you come here one second? So, you're gonna get that, which covers the pace system, personality system. Learn how to find and close clients. Can you do this for me right here? Sure. Go there. You can just hold that. And then just send a text. Just do it right here. Okay. The next thing, that's bonus number whatever. Three. Four, I'm gonna give you a program that I built that's closed now, so you can't buy this on my website. It's called Social Media Secrets. It's a 600, uh, $700 course, and it's how to become a social media influencer yourself. One of the best ways to get clients is like walk in the door and already have a decent social media following yourself. So I'll show you how to get 10,000 social media followers, which is, I think, not that hard to do on Instagram. Then when you walk in, to the restaurant, to the doctor's office, you can show them your own numbers. You don't need that to start, but this is a bonus, okay? I talked about the private tribe group. That's $500. We're gonna do a one, -on I'm gonna give you, a lot of people say, Ty, okay, this is great, it's all pre-recorded stuff, but dude, I want, I need to talk to somebody in person and have them customize a plan. So I've got a customized plan for you. You can talk with one of my team. Instead of paying my team for a consultation, I'm gonna waive the, the cost of that. So you can actually talk to my audience. I mean, to my staff. And if they have questions, they'll ask me and all that. By the way, let me, are you done with that? Yeah, I was just gonna Yeah, okay, you can find out. Uh, next thing, so that's number six. Number seven, this is what I was talking about, how to live the lifestyle, because it's not enough to just make money. I had to teach this to my top student, Jaden. He made a million bucks in his first year and he didn't know what to do with it, man. And I told him, look, here's how to live in a nicer place. When you start making money, money is utility. Money is not, it's just cotton. You know this is like paper and cotton. There's no real value in money. So scientists or economists call it um, utility. So the deal with utility, yeah, there's someone at the gate. Can you get it? Can you put my address in there? So utility, 
I'm gonna show you how to travel better, how to use money as you start making it. Now, you don't, don't, don't buy a Lamborghini or Ferrari first, okay? Eventually, you get to that. First thing I did when I made money, I got a nicer car, but not a Lamborghini. I got a Mercedes, what's the cheapest one? A C. I think C. Yeah, I got the little C class. I don't even remember, it was in 2004, I think. I bought that C class, boy, I thought I was on top of the world. I was like, Bzzz. and it helped me in business deals. Like, it was better to have, it wasn't just vanity. And then I got a nicer place to live. And now I was living in a mobile home. And trust me, do not live in a mobile home if you don't have to. No offense to those of you who live in a mobile home. I lived in one for most of my teenage years. So I'm not looking down on anybody. I'm just telling you, get out of it. First of all, if a damn tornado comes, you'll be dead. So make all the money in the world get blown away. So we'll talk all about that. Work-life balance, fun, traveling the world. Like, you know, some of you will get to the place you'll be getting private jets. Some of you will be getting badass cars. I don't think that should be your primary goal, but I do think it's okay to have some selfish fun goals. I don't think everything has to be, mm, I don't think everything has to be like, no, save every penny you earn. Like I divide my money up is what I do. So you take some of it, you reinvest it back in the business, some of it you save it and invest it, and some of it you enjoy. If you, you make 10 million bucks, you at least take, at least 1% of it and just blow it in like one weekend. So if you make 10 million bucks, what's 1% of 10 million bucks? 100 Gs. Go to Vegas, get your best friends, and literally blow 100 grand. Some people are gonna disagree with me. Okay, you can disagree, but that's a better life. You still got 9.9 .9 million. You make a million bucks, blow 10,000 over. It's fun. Or you can do what I did. I went to last year World Series, not this year, I didn't go. I spent $100,000 taking all my friends to the World Series. We had the best seats at the World Series. You can see back on my Instagram. I flew my friend in from Texas. I flew three people in from North Carolina. And I, for me to get to the game in time, we had to, I had to charter a freaking G, what was it, Gulfstream that we took. No, and it wasn't, it was like one of those bombardiers or whatever. Um, it was a badass plane, and that car, the tickets were like fifty grand, and the no, they were more. Mine were thirty five grand, and then we bought them for everyone else. You can come down here. It was like fifty grand, and then the plane was like forty. That was ninety, and then my friend's tickets was like ten. So that's okay. You know, I know how to make more than ten million bucks. So if I blow a hundred grand, it's not that big of a deal. It's not gonna bankrupt me. Okay. So we're gonna talk about that. I hope some of you, this becomes your biggest problem that you need to like live a cool lifestyle. That it'll be better than not living. And then I'm gonna give you a conference ticket. In January, I'm doing a conference. You guys can literally come and it's gonna be in LA, Santa Monica at the beach. So, so somebody said, Ty, is this gonna cost five grand? No, I'm gonna waive this cost. I'm gonna give you guys a scholarship that get in now on this live call. So I'm gonna scholarship this whole thing and you're just gonna pay for the main program and I'm gonna throw all that in because, I don't know, I want you to win. So yesterday pretty simple. Yesterday was National Nachos Day. So. Maya just told me yesterday was National Nachos Day. What does it have to do with anything, Maya? It's like, for fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you get, um, what's, what's his name on? Jaden. And here, Nathan, you can answer the top one. Okay. So I'm gonna get top student right here on the call to answer questions for you. Oh, so what is the price? Okay, so how much is it actually gonna charge? Do you have the other thing, the benefits now? Do you have a program breakdown? Huh? Do you have a program breakdown? Yes. So here's the core program. Where do we put this? Are you gonna just hold this? <laughs> No, I don't want you to have to stand there. <laughs> Mel's sacrificing herself to just hold this. Um, hello. Sorry, I had to finish something. I'm late. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're literally going to hold it? All right, so you're about to get access. The core program is four phases. All right? We'll talk about how to set up the business how to master the social media, how to acquire clients, and how to automate. These are the four things. So it's basically one month on each of these. So it's a four month program, one month. Because at the end, you want to automate as much as the work as you have to. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up, Ty? 
Okay, Jaden's here. I'm almost ready for you, Jaden. Hold on. So you're getting 89 lessons plus 20 bonus lessons. It's actually more than you need. It's over 100 different lessons on stuff, okay? I've shown you some of this stuff. What's on this next page? There's 18 different people teaching. Dan Fleischman is teaching, Nathan Ch Chang, Joe Soto. Yep, this yep. guy's making millions of social media, his own agency. Jaden, we put, Jaden's about to come on. Neil Patel, if you guys don't know who Neil Patel is, Neil Patel, hey, it is awesome guy. So it's over 100 hours of content. So let me just say this, you don't need to spend 100 hours on this, like you'll burn out. So just spend maybe 15 minutes a day. Okay? And then we got the weekly live coaching calls. I'll come on one a month. I'm not gonna come every week. Okay? I've never done that. Plus, you get the vault and all the bonuses. So it's an insane amount of things. So if you wanna get in, there's a button on the page. Look for the button. If you're watching this from a different place, you might not see a button. I'll put a link. Click the button. The next page is 256 bit SSL encrypted page. Um, and let's talk about the price for one second. Okay, you can take that off. Also, if you don't see the link, uh, the button, you can just go here. Trialopas.com slash market. Kind of like supermarket. Okay? Now, price. This is a huge thing. Because I told you when you guys are making money, you have to set the right price for things. Because if you set the price too low, and I've seen people do this, they're like, dude, you say to charge a thousand bucks a month for social media, I'm gonna do it for a hundred bucks. I'm like, no, don't. And they're like, why? I'm like, because you have to get 10 people. You have to manage 10 businesses' social media to make $1,000. You will literally burn out and have a heart attack. So don't blame me if you have a heart attack, because I told you right here, okay? So what I recommend that you do with pricing, I'm gonna show you. This is exactly how I price this. The first thing you do, give away a lot of free value. When you walk into the restaurants, do free stuff for them. Be like, look, dude, this is why you wanna work with me because I did a site speed audit. I looked at your Instagram. I got a strategy for you to grow. So you give them free stuff. Then the second thing is give them a lot of bonuses. Like I recommend you do more than you promise. Just like on this live call, I'm giving you almost $6,000 worth of bonuses. Just so people feel like you're on their side. So many people are like cheap and I, I it, if you, you know, ever heard of the law of attraction? Here's how the law of attraction works. You get what you are. A lot of people misunderstand the law of attraction. They think the law of attraction is like, oh, if I wanna make money, you sit in a room and you visualize money. I mean, that's kind of okay, but I've tried that, it's never worked for me. Like, if you're fat and you wanna have a six pack, if you lay in bed and go, I attract abs, I attract, you can be laying there a long time, you're probably gonna get fatter while you're laying there. So the truth is, um, if you want to make money, you have to be around people who make money. If you want to have people generous with you, you have to be generous yourself. That's what the law of attraction means. So like I'm being generous with people. I recommend, by the way, you give 10% of all the money you make to charity. I try to give at least 10%, um, if not 50% some years. Don't give more than 50% unless you really want to. Uh, but don't go broke and give everything to charity. But between 10 and 50%. Depending on how generous you are. And I found, you know, one time I did a test. I was six years old. My mom, and it was here in San Diego. My mom went to this church and she, and she said, Ty, um, I had a dollar. I'll never forget, I had a dollar because my mom didn't have much money and that was my allowance for like, she gave me a dollar a week for doing chores. And I was um, in church and she said, you should put that dollar in the uh, little bin or the, chair, the um, tithing plate. And I was like, hell no I didn't say hell no to my mom but I was like no but I remember she talked me into it and I put a hundred dollars in I mean one dollar in and I went home and I'm serious this is always blowing my mind I'll never forget it's one of my childhood memories my uncle Bill was at my mom's apartment and he said hey Ty for the last year I've been collecting quarters every time I have a quarter I put it in this lake arrowhead like plastic thing and he goes I'm gonna give it to you and it was seventy five dollars so remember I told you the law of attraction, it, whether you're religious or spiritual or not, remember, you get what you put out. So you put out stingy vibes, you get stingy people. 
So that's why I said I give you guys six thousand dollars. I could charge six thousand extra dollars. People just paid ten grand to come to my house. What was it? Thirty-three people or something paid for two days to come. I made three hundred thirty thousand dollars in one day. I, I I can be greedy if and I wasn't even greedy with them, but I could be. People will pay me, but I don't want to be. That's why I said I, I'm not going to tack on six thousand dollars. So. The price I decided, this is what I like to do. What's it really worth? Divide it by 10. That's the best way to be generous. So I, this is worth 10 grand, I promise you that. Especially since it has a 100% money back guarantee. I forgot to say that. So if you go through month one, month two, it doesn't work for you, just send an email to my office. We got an office, 50 people up in LA. We're not like, overseas in some weird place like literally we're right there you can call um, 100 percent money back and we've had to give people all their money back one guy one of the first people who got in the program he like wrote back the next day he's like i just found out i have cancer and i want my money back and we're like okay so it's 100 percent money back guaranteed i think it's worth ten thousand, but i always divide it by 10 so i decided i'm gonna do it for less and i'm not even gonna do it for a thousand that's too i used to do it for a lot of stuff for like a thousand, but man, you know one thing I've learned from social media? Everybody in the damn world is broke. Even people you think have money are broke. It's crazy. Like, wait till the next recession comes. It's gonna come in the next year or two. You think things are bad now? I'm saying this live now, it's recorded. It's about to get bad. That's why I tell people, start making money now because it is about to get worse. Worse, way worse, way worse. So I recommend, like, quicker you can make money, the better. And um, so I realized a lot of people don't even have a thousand bucks. So I priced it under a thousand dollars, and even that wasn't enough for people. So here's how it is: you can pay one time, or I divided it into four. Is it four payments? Yeah. Or four payments. So you can get in now for under two hundred bucks. If you do the one pay, you make more. I mean, you save money. If you do the four pay, you pay a little bit more, but I'll divide it up. Some people say that's too much money. I'm like, well then go to community college because community college is a thousand bucks. If you think community college professors know more about starting a business than me and 16 of my buddies, me and my business partner who teaches in this, we spent $500 million on internet ads. Find me one person in the world. One, well, we're business partners. Find me two professors in the world that ever spent 500 million bucks on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube ads. Zero. So if you want to pay them a thousand bucks to get a market, I, I <laughs> people go to community college and get marketing degrees. I'm like, are you stupid? Community colleges don't even know how to market themselves. Why would you go eat? go look at a community college Instagram? Get two likes per picture. So if you want to learn marketing, learn from people who did it. Neil Patel's in there, Joe Soto, these people, everybody basically makes millions of dollars. Or I don't put it in there. So, you get what you pay for. This isn't a thousand bucks. You can, it's not even 500 bucks. You can get it in the four pay plan. Okay, let me bring Jaden real quick. Yo, Jaden. Hey, what's up? All right, we got questions. Cool, I got answers. Answers, who has a question? This is the top student. What date did you get in my, um, what date did you get in my program last year? Was it November uh, or October? It was October. Okay, October. How did you get in the first day? Yeah, it was day one. Here, put, you can be right there. She, to, she can be right here. Yeah. Man, that's so long ago. <laughs> one year ago. How much money did you did you? How much money did you have in your bank account one year ago? I didn't have a bank account. <laughs> had you ever had a? So you didn't have a bank account at the time. Yeah, right. No, I, I had a. I By had the a, way, some of you are gonna think Jaden is a actor that I'm paying. You are cynical bitches, and please, <laughs> automatically, you're not allowed in my program. Anybody who thinks I paid Jaden to be here, yeah. no. Have I ever paid you one penny to do anything for me? He's paid me, but I never paid him. Okay. Yeah, no. Just a little thing, just in case that people are wondering. Somebody said, Ty, did you hire him from Craigslist? Damn. Jaden, are you going to take that? I, I, I'm definitely uh, an Indeed.com person. He's on Indeed. Oh, they don't know what that is. Okay. So, Twitter. Uh, I mean, somebody said, what's your Twitter? What is your Twitter? Are you on I Twitter? Don't, I don't like Twitter. I don't have Twitter. He's a social media guy, but I don't like Twitter. Jaden, I got to keep training you, man. Okay. 
So you didn't have a bank account one year ago. How long did it, and you made what, in the first two months, how much cash did you make? Uh, 35,000. 35,000, I remember because he sent me a screenshot. He said, dude, a year ago I had, I mean a month ago, or was it two months or one month? It was two months, it is so funny because I never had deposited a check that large. They deposited $100, I specifically remember, and they held the other 19,000. Oh, like really? They had, he went, if you can't hear it, he said they deposited, you know how like if you have never deposited a big check at a bank, they don't believe it's a real check? So they, they held, that's, Zach's up there laughing at you. They only released $100 of a $20,000 check. Jaden, that's horrible, man. What did you come in, looking like a psychopath? They only trusted $100, really? Yes, and it was a cashier's check too. It was a cashier's check. Actually, he brought 20 grand in cash, and they, they said, we're gonna hold this cash, make sure you're not a Don Pablo. So how long did it take you to get the other 20 grand? Three weeks. Okay. So you got 20 grand within three weeks. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, here, you can sit up there if you want. If you want to be up there. We got a whole bunch of people. You got an audience. Everybody say hello to Jaden. Jaden made a million bucks in the last 12 months. What is the exact number? Is it exactly a million? Uh, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit over. I, I actually have to check back. So it's over a million. Like how much? So like almost 1.1 million. Yeah, almost. How old are you right now? 22. 22. Okay, by the way, if you wanna get in, click the button while, you don't have to keep watching this, or you can go right here. Let me read tylopez.com slash market. Let me, let me read some of the people getting in the, t so your overall thing, do you think people should get in this program? By the way, Ty, Sonny says thanks for the flowers. He sent me birthday flowers today, thanks. Cool. You're with Cole? Yeah. Yeah. He's right here. He's in our house. Yo, what's up? This is another business partner of mine. I didn't even know. Wait, are you in Orange County right now? Yeah. Yeah. Cole. Ask him why I won't return my phone calls. You can see. Zach said, why won't you return his phone calls? Cole. The dog because he texts me too many new photos. Zach, you're texting Jaden nude photos? Yes, <laughs> man. You know one cool thing about Cole Hatter, for those of you who don't know, he, we have a real estate program together, and Cole was in a car accident when he was in his 20s, and he was a fireman, and then he was a paralyzed, uh, for a, temporarily paralyzed, and was in a wheelchair, and then by, t what was it, 26, you were a mil millionaire? 28, he was a millionaire. How long did it take you after the wheelchair? Um, six years. Six years after, um, 22 years old. That's a pretty crazy story. How much did you invest in yourself to learn? You went to conferences. How much did you invest in yourself? As of today, over 300 grand. Just over 300 grand. 300 grand he spent on his own education. So some of the, the few, trust me, I was telling everybody, in 50 years, your grandkids are going to be like, you, you grew up in a time where people were learning in classrooms. Like, you are weird. You could have just learned on your phone. So... Coulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Is that what you said, Zach? I want Zach to have kids. I gotta see little Zach kids. Hey, yo, running. Ty, I'm yo. Gonna give your program a shout out. Jaden grew my Instagram by 50,000 followers in 30 days. Real followers. Damn. So, oh, Jaden is actually doing social media to manage Cole's social media because Cole yep. does a whole bunch of stuff, has different businesses, well, and he grew yeah. it by what, 50 grand? Yeah, so if they want Are you charging him a dollar a follower, man? Jaden, I gotta talk to you on pricing. You could have gotten 50 grand from Jaden, I mean from Cole. Someone said, is Jaden like some kind of prodigy? Are you a prodigy? Did you go to college? I went for a year, so but- Is um, a college dropout. Up, like, yeah, yeah, I dropped out though. Let me read the name of some people that are getting in as we speak. Dun, 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 who do we got? I'm gonna ask, we have a little studio audience here. Yeah. Any questions from the audience? Anya, come on. Anya's on the spot, put on the spot here. Okay, anybody else? I'm literally here barefoot, by the way. I need to put shoes on. 
but I thought I'd be done by I'm wearing like joggers and a blazer, but you guys can't see that. That's one beauty of working from home. You just have to dress up the top half and then nobody can see the bottom half and it's kind of cool. So, uh, oh yeah, let me open this up here. I've never done one of these with a live call, with a live FaceTime. Kenny Barajas, congratulations in Oklahoma. Joshua Pratt, congratulations. Eric Panetta, congratulations. Tony L. Core, he did the full pay program. If you do the full pay, you save money. Uh, but if you don't have that much money, Wade Nias, congratulations from Virginia. Hey right, man, I just bought a farm in Virginia. Uh, Logan Gravel from Pennsylvania. Dude, there's a lot of people going in. So here's the deal. I'm gonna go offline here in a little bit. We're gonna answer a few more questions and then I, we're gonna, we gotta go eat and stuff. And um, I'm gonna leave this up, this link for like the next hour or so. So if you wanna get in, go, cause or else I'm gonna take this down. Oh, you gotta turn. Yeah. That was exactly two hours. All right, questions for me or Jaden. And I'm gonna give away this iPad. Uh, it's not an iPad. I'm gonna give away a laptop, actually. We're back. One question, what is one book you must read? What book are you reading recently? I'll tell you my answer, but I'll let you go first. I just finished um, Blue Oceans. Blue Ocean. Um, yeah, Blue Ocean. What, what'd you think of it? Loved it. I uh, finished it in four hours on the plane ride from Chicago to here, and it's, it's got some really awesome actionable steps to kind of explain. Can you guys hear me? Struggling right now. I don't know if you know, they can hear. Can you hear? Or, or competing like with your market. It's basically because you're in a you're in a red ocean and you need to. You know, yeah. Blue to ocean, red ocean. It basically means blue ocean means you're in a marketplace that you created. Like Google's a blue ocean yeah. company, even yeah. though it's kind of a red ocean. A better example would be Snapchat. They like invented a whole new way of doing social media. So it's blue ocean. Right. And it yeah. made the youngest billionaire in history, Evan Spiegel. He's married to Miranda Kerr, the supermodel. He's doing all right. And um, a red ocean is like if you open a gas station and there's right. already 10,000 gas. Now, I'll just be clear. One thing I don't agree with that book, just remember, you can make a lot of money in red ocean stuff. You don't have to do blue ocean. So a book I recommend for you guys is Gary Keller's One Thing. And it's the power of focus. Gary Keller owns the largest residential real estate company in the world. And we should have thrown in some of the talks I did with him. Maybe I'll put that in a bonus, but he's a monster, this Gary Keller guy in like business. And he wrote a book called The One Thing. It's now a bestseller. It's probably the best selling, one of the best selling business books of our time. Read that book. Like it will change your life because everybody's ADD. Did you know the average person now spends exactly, uh, they have a five second attention span and a goldfish has six seconds. So we now entered into a world where people are so ADD that goldfish, and trust me, I have goldfish, they don't have good attention span, but we're worse than that. And, and I see that, like I tell people to read books. Like if I told you this, here's a question for you. Anybody here, anybody watching live? Sean, oh, Sean's here. What's up? What's up, Sean? Um, if I said I'd give you a million bucks if you would read books, would you read books? Almost everybody would say yes, unless you're really stupid. And, um, but that's kind of how it works. Like. People who make, I've never met somebody who's really rich that didn't either have a mentor or read a lot of books. Warren Buffett reads 500 pages a day and he already made, a, he makes $200 billion a year in his company. 200 billion, he still reads 500 pages. So I meet, I meet people that are broke and I'm like, how many pages today did you read? And they're like, zero. I'm like, let me get this straight. One of the richest men in the world, he feels he needs to read 500 pages a day and you feel you need to read zero, I'm like, you're way too cocky. And cocky people go broke. And so you pretty much get paid in proportion to like, number one, how humble you are, and number two, um, how willing you are to learn. So it's not your IQ, it's like what you do with it. And most people don't do anything with their IQ. So, yeah. What a, a couple other questions, then we gotta go. Oh, let me, let me answer, can you hold this? Jaden, what was your best month? How much did you make in your best month since you got in my program uh, a year uh, ago? Like just recently? 
Any uh, month, in the last 12 or 13 months. I think you've been in it for 13 months. How much did yeah. you make? Uh, 142,000. 142,000, and how old are you? 22. Now he's 20, you got in at 21, now you're 22. Correct, yeah, but that's gross. That's, for, that's, not that's gross. Yeah. So you made 142,000 gross, so it's not all yeah. profit. Was a good bit of it profit? Yeah, it's about 43% margin. 43% profit, I like that, you know precision. I hate when people don't know. So if you multiply yeah. 142,000 times 43, 0.43 in your calculator, let's do a $100 giveaway, the first person who gets that. <laughs> da, 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 da. I can kind of do it in my head. Hey, seriously. <laughs> I can do 40% times 140. Let's go. It's easy. It's 56,000, but do 42 point, what'd you say, 40 what? It's 43%. Oh, 43, okay. First person to do it, not the first. Here, can you hold this for me? Does anybody in this room want a hundred bucks? <laughs> what was it, 143,000? 142,000, 43% margin, yeah. All right, okay, what's the exact number? 61, no, oh, somebody's so close. Dude, use a calculator. Who's that, somebody say, are you guys just guessing? 142 times 0.43. How can you not get this? There we go. Kamehameha. Hama. That's his name. Is that your real? We, YouTube, no, Kamehameha. I think he said 61. A lot of people said 61, but it's not. The number is 142 times 0. 0.43 is 6106. Oh, yeah. Well, 60, so you made $61,000 net. Yeah. That's not bad. Who here is netting 61,000 at 22? I wasn't making that much money at 22. You're ahead of me. You're lucky, man. You guys are, all you young people watching this shit, if you are under 25, my definition of young, by the way, is under 18, but because Warren Buffett started at seven and Bill Gates started at 12. So if you're over 18, you're already a little late, but you are not that late. You started at 21 and by 22, you're netting $61,000 a month. So what's the first spoiled uh, way that you spoiled yourself with your 61 grand? Like, what did you do? Let's, do, let's, talk, let's talk bullshit right now. Like, my first bullshit thing to do, I told you, was um, get a C-class Mercedes and move out of a mobile home. Hey, my mom's here too. Mom, do you remember our mobile home? My mom remembers. Some people are like, I don't believe you live in a mobile home. It was a double wide though, so it was better than the war. It wasn't the war, it was like an upgraded mobile home. But make no mistake, it was a mobile home. And I realized, you know my bedroom now in Beverly Hills is bigger than that whole place? Because I think it was like 1,900 square foot or 1,500 square foot, and I think my bedroom now with the bathrooms is like 2,100 square feet or 2,200. Yeah, with the bathroom is big. My, it's big. So, what is the first thing you did? Um, like the biggest purchase that I did since then. Yeah, just something like, selfish you did. I went to your. I went to a mastermind. Like, no, that's not selfish. <laughs> something bullshit like you bought like the new Yeezys I for. Bought an Aston Martin. You bought an Aston Martin? Oh yeah, I flipped one. Yeah. You bought an Aston Martin and flipped it. Yeah. So what happened was. Jane's all about that money. He's like, fuck it, I'm gonna get it. Aston Martin, which Aston Martin was it? DB9? It was a, no, it was, a, it was an 08 uh, V8 Vantage. They have like the best. Oh, you version. got the old school. You got like the Model T. Yeah. You got the moped Aston Martin. That's good. How much did you flip it for? I flipped it for 7,000. Wait, how much did you buy it for? 32. And you sold it for 39? It was like 39 after. Did you get to drive it though? No, because I bought it and I thought it was local, but it was in Canada. And it was <laughs> Jaden, I gotta help you buy. So Jaden's first thing, hey, where's Zach? Zach, Jaden's first thing, he's like, I'm gonna spoil myself. He went online, he found an Aston Martin, he bought it, and then he's like calling him. Yo, when am I gonna get my Aston Martin? They're like, we're in Montreal, Quebecois. Did they speak French? No, they work in Toronto. And you live where, Chicago? Yeah. So you were like, fuck that, I'm just gonna resell it. Yeah, so I listed it, now he got sold in two weeks, and the delivery time was five weeks, so I just changed the shipping address. That's smart. So now you, so you made seven grand. What was, okay, did you do any selfish spoiling of uh, yourself? I mean. I can tell he doesn't I mean, want yeah, to like, tell me. 
He's like, strip club. Did you go crazy? Did you go to Floyd Mayweather's girls collection in Las Vegas? I thought I saw you with some big booty chicks on your Instagram, man. Somebody goes, I don't even know what they're talking about. If, they, if you just tuned in live right now, this call makes zero sense. Because we're talking about strip clubs. Okay, JD, give me one thing. You're live on here, man. To Nobu in Miami or where? Vegas? Uh, no, in, in uh, Hollywood. How much was it? It was like four grand. You spent four grand on Nobu? Yeah, it was like me and like a bunch of other like business partners and I took everybody out. Dude, you should have spent it on a car because at least you got the car to drive. With sushi, you literally, people are eating your money and it's yeah, gone. I, mean, I don't know, I don't really. How did it feel to pick up a four grand check? That's good. Yeah. One time, most I ever spent when I first had money, I flew to Sweden to visit my friend, and I knew this girl, and I, I, she's like, "Take me on a date." So I was like, "Okay." So I go to the, I said, "Let's go to a nice restaurant." I thought the exchange rate would be very good. So we go, we eat this like five course dinner, and at the end, it comes back, and it's like twenty thousand kroners or something. I'm like, "Hmm, that sounds high. Must not be high." So I do the math. It was like two grand. I'm like, "I don't like you that much." <laughs> Lady, I was so pissed. That's the last time. Never tell a girl money's no object. If you tell a girl money's no object, she'll be like, okay. Money's no, and I didn't have a lot of money back then. I was probably making 100 grand a year. So like two grand was 2% of my income on this one chick that I didn't even like. So uh, actually your Aston Martin story is better. Okay, any questions for him? Any questions? Somebody said, LOL. <laughs> What makes this so special? What? Why do you think? Did this? Could you have just done this on your own? Can you hold this for a second. Was that, was that you, a question? This for you, Jaden. Like, was it valuable for you to spend money and join the program? Oh, for sure. I mean, you need to have a, a roadmap. It's like the reason on why I got in the program was because you had sold me through a Facebook ad, and I was like, if this guy can sell me through a Facebook ad, like, why wouldn't I want to learn from the person and, and duplicate? Oh, so, yeah, absolutely. 100% worth it. Somebody says, Jaden, what if your social media isn't big to start with? Did you have big social media to start? No, I mean, I still like, I mean, compared to like you and, and a lot of the other people, I like my social media still isn't, and you don't even need a personal brand to get big in social media. You how many How many followers did you have when you first started? 300, 200. So you had 300 Instagram followers. How did you get businesses to trust that you like could help them? follow up i mean at the end of the day you want to be the last person in a business owner's mind so like if you're there every single day like i would follow up with certain businesses like so much to the point where they would see me approach their business and they would lock the door because they're like oh my god <laughs> they're like it's that guy again like he's gonna come pitch his social media and i didn't so you were just persistent and you didn't give up yeah because you know you can't get rejected by another person it's just they don't understand why you're trying to bring value to their life so you just have to consistently go back day after day after day it's like chasing a girl right like if she tells you no it doesn't mean she doesn't like you it just means that she's not interested in you in that moment it's did you do you have any restraining orders from business owners <laughs> against you i actually had a, it was so funny i went to a doctor he didn't say no Jaden. you're supposed to say no to that question Jaden. No, no i don't have any restraining orders i had a doctor's office though he was treating a, a sheriff who was off duty and like i was trying to pitch the doctor when the sheriff was there and he's like do i need to take you and I was like, no, but like, what I could like use your help with though is to like convince this doctor that like he needs social media. And it actually turned out to be a good relationship. So wait a second, the sheriff came up to you and said, you're asking too much, I might need to take you in. And then you flipped it and sold him. Did you do the, the police station social media? Dude, you wanna, let me tell you, the best social media in the world would be a police station posting yeah. all the bullshit that goes through there. Like, you know these websites where they just have like crazy like, and all the Tiger Woods, TMZ stuff. Yeah. But I think that's against the law. So you probably can't take a client and just take pictures of all the people coming into the jail cell, but. Yeah, there's like different, yeah, 
yeah, restrictions, but I do actually do work for, like, my local municipality, and there's a ton of, like, I mean, a lot of these municipalities, they need your help, especially when it comes to, like, this is not so much social media, but, like, we also help, like, with IT and stuff, because it's kind of within the same ballpark, so, right. like, web design and optimization. So, you, you have a web design, too, right? Yeah, we do web development. Somebody said, what's your closing rate? Just on average, let's say, like doctor's offices. That's what you started with. Probably like 8 to 12 percent. 8 to 12. Remember I told you guys at the beginning, if you talk to 10 people, one will say yes. That's just, it's pretty much like kind of the rule of life. Like one out yeah. of 10 people. Yeah. I have a friend who's like the best guy in the world with girls. Like girls love this guy. And uh, if you go out to the club or bar, like women throw themselves at him. But I asked him one time. I said, what's your like success rate getting phone numbers? And he said, it's only 50%. So even like, he's like a super good looking guy, super suave, confident. Even he gets rejected at least half the time. So you got to kind of develop thick skin. And once you know the ratios one to 10, this is how to think about it. If out of every 10 people you talk to, you'll make, let's say $5,000. Then just divide 10 into five. That means every person who says no, you're making 500 bucks. So you literally want people to say no. You like go around and you're like, do you want me to help you? Do you want me to help your social media? And every person saying no is really giving you $500 because out of 10 of them, you'll make at least five grand over time from one of them. So Jaden, all right, man, I'm going to close this up. Thank you for being on here. And uh, yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. I didn't know you were here in California. Yeah, I think I'm coming by Friday, too. Are you coming by the house? Okay. Yeah. Watch for Jaden. He'll be on my Snapchat here. All right, we're about to wrap up because I'm tired. We've been on here, what, two hours and 16 minutes. So here's the deal. If you want to get in, click the link, click the button. If you're scared, I got 100% money back guarantee. So the only reason you shouldn't get in is number one, if you inherited a lot of money, then you might as well just enjoy it. There's a lot of people in the world who inherited their money and you don't have to do anything. That's number one. Number two, if you're a highly cynical, annoying person, please don't be involved with anything I do because, uh, I don't know, you're annoying. Uh, yeah, frequently asked question. Number three, don't be in this if you're completely broke and you're gonna lose your, you're gonna like use your last penny. I, that's not my goal. I'm not, I don't want to take away like your kids' diaper money and stuff like that. Okay. Frequently asked questions. Here's the most commonly asked questions, and then I'm gonna go. By the way, let me read some of this. Okay, number one, will it work for me? I got good news and bad news. Um, will the gym work for you? Have you ever met somebody that eats right and exercises that like becomes in worse shape? No, it's like literally impossible unless you work out incorrectly and you don't, but like if you actually do something correctly, it always works. There's not everybody becomes a super pro athlete or something, but everybody who controls their diet and works out more gets in better shape. It's just a fact. So will this program work for you? Everybody who, goes through it and does it, I've never seen it not work for somebody. I've seen it work for some people better than others, like not everybody makes 62,000, 61,000 profit, but there's so many people, dude, I showed you 697 testimonials in my phone of people like, I made 10 grand, 20 grand. I made, there's a kid I just put on my Snapchat at ComplexCon, just randomly walked up to me. He logged into his Bank of America. I'm 19 in the last two months I made $45,000 net in my bank account. There was a kid who got like a Papa John's um, series of franchise all throughout California. Made like a hundred grand or something. I can't, I literally had to assign people in my office to manage all the incoming testimonials. So I know it works. I tested it 13 months ago. It's been over 13 months and it still works. So, but if you don't do it, then yes, it doesn't work. Like, so that's my answer to that. Okay, the second thing, um, money. People ask, they go, I don't have enough money. I don't wanna spend it on that. Here's the thing about money, like people always spend their money. So let's say you have a thousand bucks and you wanna get in this, or it's less than a thousand, but let's just say, right? Ask yourself, what will you do with the money if you don't do this? And most people, let's be realistic. 
You know that to go to Disneyland, I went to Disneyland the other, like about a year ago. Disneyland, if you have a family, I watched in line, literally thousands of families, it costs at least a thousand bucks to go to Disneyland. Like it was insane. It's like 150 bucks. If you have like five people or six people and then you buy food and all this shit, it's a thousand dollars. And I was thinking all these people, you know, Disney is one of the richest corporations in history, right? Why? Because people glad, they never think there's something wrong. They just go and they spend it. And then what do you have the next day at midnight or whenever you leave the park, you have nothing. It's better. This is my advice to you. And this is what Jaden's doing. Make a machine. You ever seen these like little things like you just turn the handle like, like that? Make a machine that spits out dollars. That's the most important thing for you financially. Make something that spits out dollars. Instead of just spending a thousand bucks on whatever you're gonna spend it. it anyway, it's not a thousand bucks. You can get it in for under 200 bucks. And it has a 100% money back guarantee. You know Disneyland doesn't give you your money back if you go, oh, at the end, this wasn't quite worth a thousand dollars. You know the average American um, makes $52,000 a year, right? So if they spend a thousand dollars on Disneyland, that is 2% of their entire income. 4%? No, one grand. Oh, one grand. If it's one grand. So they spend 2% of their entire, that means 2% of all your work for one year, so 365 days, 2% 2 of 365 days is like, let's say seven days. So you work one day, one week of the year just to enjoy one day at Disneyland. And I'm not making fun of people for doing that because I get it, you're creating memories for your family, but like, you know what's a better thing to create for your family? Cash flow. When I, this is why I got in nightclubs. I went to a nightclub when I was, I left the Amish. I lived with the Amish for two and a half years. So I like, wasn't around nightclubs. And then I came out and I was in Raw, North Carolina. I went to this nightclub called The Office, it was called. I went downtown and one drink was, I think it was like, whatever, 14 bucks or something. And I was like, wait a second, Ty. I'm standing on the wrong side of this bar. I should walk over, I should be behind the bar owning the club. And then the more people that drink and the more people that go in the door, the more money I make. So I flipped it from me giving like 10 bucks for drinks to me making a hundred bucks per person who walked in the door. And I remember I made like 20 grand cash the first day, the first real time I had a nightclub. I remember I walked out with 20,000 bucks cash. I literally felt like the godfather. And I was like, thank God I wasn't just shelling out money. So this business, if you do it right, will create cash flow for you potentially for the rest of your life. You can also sell it. You know one person, what was the name of that dude who built the agency? There's a guy, this Indian guy. Um, he, no, not he came. He bought, he built a social media, no, it was an Asian guy. Remember he came to the house? How Just, was that? Justin? Oh, yes. And he sold it in April for, I think, 300 grand. So he built an agency and sold his agency to someone else. And then he got out of it and he's like 20 and he just pocketed 300 grand. You gotta pay capital gain. So he'll probably have to pay 30, 40,000. So it's kind of a cool story. Okay. Um, Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you guys for being patient because we're, everybody's here. Are you hungry, Armin? Yeah. Are you hungry, Terry? Yep. <laughs> I got everybody just waiting here. I tried to start earlier, but we had some technical difficulties. Khalid C, Joel Inden, congratulations. Wisconsin, welcome to the group. Irene Davidson, congratulations. Dylan Mill, oh, I can't even pronounce that last name. Miss Leo Weech, he even uploaded a picture. What's up, Dylan? He's from New York. It's late out there now. Uh, okay, somebody had their card declined. If you have your card declined, you can call my office. We'll try to put the number somewhere or you can live stream or we'll send you an email. We can, if you need to use PayPal or something. PayPal's a pain in the butt. Shane Delaney, congratulations. I'm not gonna get to read everybody. Isaac Berman, congratulations. Or, no, sorry. Yeah, Berryman. Samundra. 
Samundra doesn't even have a last name. That's how cool he is. Congratulations, Samundra. And Dustin Hanel. Sweet. All right, I'm not going to read all these. Michael Campos, Kenny Barajas. Cool. All right, so I'm going to leave this button up. Or I'm going to leave this link. And... Oh, the refund. People ask. Is the refund guaranteed? Yes, it's backed by Amex, MasterCard, all that. So if I got hit by a nuclear bomb like my office in LA, you could still get a refund as long as the world's still here. Hopefully we won't blow ourselves off the planet. Uh, where's the link here? Uh, I'll put it right here for those of you who don't have it. And let me give away this phone, this laptop. So click the link or you can go here. Market, slash, tylopez.com slash market. You got an hour or two. I'll leave the button up just cause some of you are like, we're watching the stream so you didn't want to leave. Let's give this bad boy away. Somebody said, dude, you killed it on H3H3. Oh, thanks man, that was fun. That was a big podcast. All right, so I'm gonna give away this laptop. Zach, what should we do? What? Zach, come help me give this away, man. Someone said outfit is dope as hell, Ty. That's because you can only see the upper half. The bottom half, I'm barefoot. Um, I have, these are actually crazy expensive. Never buy these. I don't know why we spent money. I have a stylist, so she brings stuff. I choose them. We haven't done it yet, Zach. Oh. <laughs> Zach's all ready to go. Zach looks very spiffy. Sure. Tell everybody what this outfit represents to you, Zach. Comfort. Okay. Um, Wait, come in so you're visible. Comfort. Zach's a Leo, so he needs lots of attention. Lots. Is anyone here a Leo? Oh, what's up? Oh, you. Hey, I didn't see you come in. We have a true Leo over there. Zach, is it true that Leos like attention? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as much as possible, whenever possible, from whomever. Is that right? Awesome. From whomever? <laughs> Zach loves attention. I'm serious. I like to just stand still and get attention. Uh, no, okay. the, the outfit's because I'm excited. It's finally well, Where's the yesterday's cool. outfit? Yesterday, Zach, I swear, I'm not it's joking. It's a cardigan. It's not a bathrobe. I thought he cut a bathrobe in half because he's staying at a hotel. I thought it was a nice I'm hotel. Kidding, I'm not gonna... And then I thought you cut it and you were wearing it. I thought it was cool. I was like, that's a very industrious way to do it, man. It's, uh, it's not industrious. It's, what do you call it? It's, I'm destroying property. <laughs> Zach, you look like a lumberjack, somebody said. I want to look like a lumberjack. Zach is a lumberjack. Okay. Somebody said, I saw that on Snapchat, that bathrobe. He looks like he's for the from Home Alone guy. You know <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite thing when people say that about Zach. What? I love how much this looks like water. What is that, vodka? Because you are. Okay. All right. <sighs> Lumberjack in a bomber jacket. What's the favorite thing, a little side note, that Zach's ever done on my Snapchat that you guys have liked? Because I, I, Zach has a lot of fans. Z um, Zach, love you. No, you can't answer. I'm asking you. <laughs> oh. Zach's going to answer. You know the favorite thing that made people I really like, like it when I... Uh, somebody said, what does Zach do exactly? I'm still trying to figure out how to answer that properly. You know Zach's favorite thing since he's a Leo? This is what you can do to really make Zach excited. DM him, but ask him. What's the thing you hate? Uh, when for they, advice. Oh, ask for business advice. Yeah, yeah. But Zach's not really a businessman. Should I go to college? He's more of a stand-up comedian. Uh, hey, uh, will you tell Ty this for me? <laughs> I get a lot of that. Zach. Ty won't open my messages. Could you maybe tell him about this business proposition? Zach. Someone said, please beg Zach to come to Comic-Con. Comic-Con? Okay. Zach's more of a side man. No, don't say Zach's a side man. Okay. Zach looks like Zach off Efron. Wait, what's this? Zach looks like Ze Zach <laughs> Efron crossed with Jack Black. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't That's, see the Jack Black. I don't see the Efron. You know, Zach tells people he's Larry Bird's cousin or nephew. Nephew. And where were we that they were like believing? It was the All Star game. We were, we were at the NBA All Star, All -Star game, and he was going to get floor access by saying he is the the nephew of Larry Bird. That is pretty good. 
Well, someone said he does look like Larry Bird. Someone said, is that Louis C.K.? Louis no. C.K. is funny. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I have a little bit more hair than Louis C.K. So, Zach, just a little bit. tell us a joke. You just did stand-up comedy. Can you just do little... Zach looks like Larry Bird's ugly brother? So <laughs> Why can't you just stick with nephew? Why do you have to go to ugly brother? Zach, give me one funny little thing you did for stand-up comedy. Not the one about trannies, please. Don't offend everybody. Well, first of all, I didn't even use that word. I just said transvestites. Okay. Another <laughs> joke besides transvest transvestites, please. Uh, well, I talked a little bit about uh, how, how Tinder and Bumble, they really trick you, they lure you back in. No, this uh, is about transvestites. No, 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 I'm just, this is more along the lines of how they, uh, it, it, see now I've even messed it up, so. No, okay, don't tell that joke. He, Zach got heckled because he said Tinder, he's being tricked. I'm getting tired of transvestites tricking me on these online dating apps because I'm from North Carolina. And transvestites in North Carolina are not hot. But in Hollywood, <laughs> they look really good. And so I swipe right and I match with trannies and it pisses so me off. So why don't you just go out with them if they look good? Because they, sound like, uh, right. they sound like Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a fan. Somebody said, Babywell17 said, Zach, you so hot. I know. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is our. You probably shouldn't have said that on this live. <laughs> People are saying now Zach likes trannies. Okay. Um, Don't say that. This has nothing to do, but we have. <laughs> get that. I'm not going to even. That's my new hashtag. I will oh, man. Live streaming, by the way, I'm going to teach you in the. Um, in my social media marketing program, live streaming is very powerful. Like you can reach, I was playing basketball up in LA at my house and like 500,000 people watched me play basketball. It's insane. That's the beauty. By the way, you can go into businesses and have them live stream. Like I'm surprised that cool restaurants don't live stream them creating the food. Like people love food channels and you, you can create your own food channel on YouTube and you can do it for your customers. You can go into them and say, dude, I'll create a brand story or like this pizza place. We'll like create recipes, put them on Instagram and you'll build a following and then people, you become famous as a restaurant. And if you do that for businesses, people will pay you so much money. You will see, you will see. You think people would watch if I live streamed my Tinder dates? Heck yeah, yes. All right. All if right, you I'm put a helmet that. on, like a little helmet, you, I have a friend that you just put one of the, you technically you gotta tell the girl, it's illegal to not, but. Just get her permission and then put a little thing in her in your glasses. Yeah, I'll do the snap. Uh, You're gonna snap it. The whole, that'll snaps. be a shitload of snaps. Probably too many snaps. Oh yeah, no, I'll just live stream. Who here would pay one dollar to watch Zach's Tinder dates? Tell him. Will you tell him about the Who Tinder date? Who here would pay two dollars <laughs> to watch Zach's Tinder dates? That the best date Zach ever had. I kid you not. He said he drove by the place where he was meeting her. He saw she, he wasn't attracted to her, and he drove by full speed. She, this, but the story gets better. What was she dressed, goth or goth, something? Yeah. She was goth and like way over, did she look like her picture? Oh no, you went out with her with no picture. Yeah, yeah, this was like early days. Of, this is before Tinder. This, this was like, like AOL chat before room. Catfish was a So thing. she was like maybe She was like 250? <laughs> I'm just okay. saying, like, there's people that are that big. And okay, she was. but the best part is she saw him and got in her car and chased him, and he kept driving <laughs> and lost her in alleyways. And then when he got home, she called you, and what did she say? I was like, oh, I thought it was the other borders. Oh, the borders were, book? Yeah, yeah, that we were supposed to, to meet at. And so I was trying to drive there. I lost her in a, uh, in a like, a, what do you call it? Subdivision? Sub suburb. Or, yeah, yeah. Subdivision? Like, yeah. So how fast was this high speed chase going with this large goth girl chasing you? I don't know. It was, well, it was about you know sixty something in a forty. Five. You were going sixty miles an hour. To get I was away trying to get rid of. Yeah, it was like she was on my tail. And dude, I would have paid if that was live streaming. That would have been freaking. <laughs> we can reenact it. How about that? I'll stage it. Someone said Zach is a savage. Someone said Zach is a tranny. <laughs> 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 Savage training. Uh, someone said they paid 10 bucks to see that, but they put the dollar sign at the back of the 10. Oh, so they're okay. European? Yeah, or they don't know anything about money. Um, Zach playing hard to get. 
<laughs> That's right, 60 miles an hour. Hey, I'll tell you another thing that'd be even better to live stream. People on social media setting up Zach with their friends. Do you have any friends you could set up with Zach and then we film the whole matchmaking process? You mean like a blind date? A blind date. Blind. I, I'm, I've got a bad record with blind dates. My mom, I don't know if I ever told you this story because I think I did this. My mom's here. I, I, my, I wasn't supposed to go on dates, but I was like 13 years old. I lived in San Diego and this girl said, I'm going to set you up with my cousin. So I, I'll never forget, I spent $1 to take the bus to University Town Center from where I lived. And I think I told my parents I was going to Joey's house. I took, I, I lied. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom, for this confession. So I basically got in it. I went all the way to the UTC. And I was, was before I didn't have a cell phone. And she's like, she'll meet you at the ice skating rink. And I'll never forget, I went around the ice skating rink where, by this little corn dog place. And she was... I'm not, I don't want to do fat shaming, but she was like, whoa. Because her friend's like, dude, my cousin's beautiful. And I'll never forget, I was like, I bought her a hot dog and I left. And I was so pissed because I spent $1. That was a lot of money for me. See, I got That was the free. last blind date, blind date that I ever went on. When, they're, when girls tell you that their friend, when they say she's cute, no. They're talking about their personality that you can't see unless you've known them for 10 years. That's true. It's anytime somebody tells you that they're they're cute. If they're like she's so fun and the worst is like spunky. If they say you got to meet my friend, she's spunky. Oh, dude, she's spunky. No, she might be, but you don't want to be spunky with her. So, that's my blind date story and um, that's I was traumatized at a young age. And so now if a girl won't send her picture, I'm like there's something wrong with her. Yeah, yeah. I always swipe left on the, uh, the no pictures. Well, okay. sometimes I'll, it depends on how drunk and lonely I am. <laughs> if I swipe right. All right, let's give this away. Someone said, she did she look like SpongeBob? Um, Zach swipes left always. He's too good for them. <laughs> Spunky means dirty. No, that's not what I mean. Ty, what's the most oppressive thing a stranger has ever said to you? That's a good question, man. I don't know. What's the most impressive thing somebody's ever said? Impressive or oppressive? Impressive? Probably, I'll tell you what's impressive. I met this kid that was married with his wife at VidCon. He was nine, they were both 19 years old. They were the most together 19 year old couple. She had a big, she has a big YouTube channel selling makeup. He's making $80,000 a month flipping real estate. He's wholesaling real estate contracts. His name is Jalen. I'm actually gonna make a little course with him. And, um, he retired, so that was when he was either 18 or 19, I met him. A year later, we, we text and I've seen him a few times since then, they come to Hollywood. And I'm like, how's Arizona? He's like, dude, I retired from the real estate business and I'm just having fun and I moved to Hollywood. And so he basically, I don't know if he made a million dollars, but he made enough to retire at 19. And he's like married and got his shit all together. That was pretty impressive for a stranger. What about you, Zach? Uh, I would say when they legit thought I was Larry Bird at the NBA All-Star. That was... They think you were Larry Bird? I mean, Larry Bird's nephew. They thought they, that I was going to get access to some <laughs> He was going to shoot some three-pointers. Okay, here we go. Let's give this away. What questions should I ask related to social media? Um, let's do a question about Jaden, since this was about my top student in this program. How much did Jaden say he made in his first month, or two months? He showed me a screenshot. The fourth person who answers that, not 80 grand, nope. Okay, the first person, I see it there. Second person, third person, all right. Next person to say it, there we go. Sanders, 77777, 35,000. This is just the box, but I'll send you one that actually has the laptop in it. This is a 12 inch um, notebook. So congratulations, my friend. I don't think they know you've already given it away. No, that's They're all still. lagging. Oh. So let me end by just saying this. Um, for all of you who got in the program, I haven't even looked. 
congratulations, mark today's day down. You know one thing I do in life? I mark down like key turning points in my life. And um, life goes like this. Life pretty much goes, if you know what binary is, this is how life goes. It goes, um, you're like right here, and there's two paths, and you take one, and it leads you down a series of paths, and you get further and further away from where you would be if you went that way. And um, you can either do it the right way or the bad or the wrong way. And some people make the wrong choice. They go left and they should go right. And three years later you see them and they're so far away from anything they ever wanted out of life. And that's, I read a survey, 80% of people in the world don't like their life. And I guarantee you, you can trace it back to like one day. There was like one day which was a turning point and it can be fear. A lot of people are fearful. It can be um, procrastination. It can be social pressure. It can be, I don't know, luck, bad luck. And then some people, like I had dinner with this guy who made $32 billion. His name's Steve Ballmer. And um, he helped start Microsoft with Bill Gates. But he came in later. Paul Allen and Bill Gates started it. And I said, like, what changed your life? And he goes, one day, I was just walking around and I met this kid. And we were both like 20 years old or 19. And his name was Steve Ballmer. I mean, his name was Bill Gates. And we introduced ourselves to each other. And my life went down this way. And now he's over here and he made $32 billion. This is a, I'll tell you another crazy true story. This is insane. Four people met with a kid um, when the kid was, I think, 20 or 21. All right? Four people sat in a room and this kid said, hey, I got a new business. Do you want to invest money in this business? Just a little bit of money, like 10 grand or one grand. I think one guy put in 10 and another put in like 50 grand. Two of them went this way. Two of the people went this way. And two people went that way. And the, guy, the kid was Mark Zuckerberg. And he said he has this new idea called Facebook. And this one kid from Argentina, you're from Argentina, or he lives in Argentina. He said yes, and um, he made a billion dollars for just meeting this one guy and putting like 10 grand in. And those other two dudes, their life sucks. Another true story. One guy met with somebody, he was a lawyer, and this was like in the early 1990s. I just read an interview about this guy. This dude, a guy said, if you give me a um, hundred grand, I'll give you 10% of my company. And the guy said, yes, I'll do it. So the guy started down the right path. And he said, I gotta sell a piece of land that I own. He owned a barn and a piece of land. He said, I'll sell it and I'll have 100 grand and I'll give it to you. And then I'll own 10% of your company. And he procrastinated. He said his life got busy, like his kids, something was sick and he never sold it. And he finally called up the guy and goes like, dude, I don't have time to do it. And that guy was Jeff Bezos and he would have owned 10% of um, Amazon. And Amazon's worth $600 billion. Even if you diluted, the guy would have about $5 billion from, but now he still has the barn. And the guy, so I, I read this interview, a recent interview of the guy, and they said to him like, do you think about that a lot? Like how your life would have been different if you had taken the time to go down this path with Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world now? And he goes, dude, I think about it every day. And he wakes up with regrets every single day and he, I was, you know, another guy up here, he started a company and he made some incorrect decisions and he jumped off the bridge, Golden Gate Bridge. He killed himself. He had a, left behind a wife and all these little kids because he was so depressed. And it was the guy that started Victoria's Secret. It's now a billion dollar company. He didn't make much money from it because he made the wrong choice. Sometimes when you go down the, the stupid path, it sucks. You kill yourself. People... You kill your hopes and dreams figuratively sometimes and sometimes literally. So the point of this is, is not to like put pressure on you, but it's, there's a book. This lady, for one year, she said yes to everything people put in front of them. So like if they're like, you want to go salsa dancing? Normally she was like introvert. She's like, yes. I'm like you, hey, I'm going to Nepal. My friend just went to Nepal, Tom. He started MySpace. He's like, Ty, you want to go to 
Nepal with me and I was too busy, but like this lady would have said yes. And she said one year of saying yes to everything she could, you know, legally and ethically, like she said it was the best year of her life. Just you like follow the path down yeses and you don't want to be gullible, but one thing about this program, it's 100% money back guarantee. So if you go through it for four months and it like doesn't work for you, then you just get your money back and you didn't waste anything. So I, I, tell, I tell people, man, do not. Most people I meet automatically say no. This is a true story. You know, I gave away cars. I gave away, what, 10 cars or 11? I gave away 10 cars in the last year or so. And I gave away about $600,000 worth of other electronics and all this stuff. We call this one, we DM this one girl on Instagram. Congratulations. We picked her name out of a thing. She was one of my followers out of like a little lottery thing. She won a car. So we direct message her, my assistant. Hey, I work for Ty, you want a car. So she goes, I don't believe it. Which is understandable, right? You don't want to be gullible. Because it could be some, you know, Nigerian scam or some shit like that. So Maya goes, oh, no problem. Um, can you FaceTime with Ty? Like, he'll show you. Like, I'll get on FaceTime and talk to her and she'll see it's my face, right? She's like, no, I'm not going to give out my phone number. And we're like, can you borrow a friend's phone number? Can we do Skype? Can we, like, can we do something? And she's like, no, 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 no. So finally, Maya came to me and said, what should we do? I said, fuck that person, man. Shit, I can give a fucking car away. No offense to her. She blocked her blessing, man. And uh, I gave the car to someone else. True story. <laughs> and people were like, that's so mean. I'm like, it's not mean. I was reasonable. I was like, dude, I'll FaceTime with you. If you're worried about borrow your boyfriend's phone, or you think I'm gonna stock the phone or something? Buy, if it was me, a chance for a car, I would like be like Skype, right? You can block people on Skype. But she was just somebody who always blocked her blessing. So I was like, you know what? You block your blessing long enough, you get what you deserve, which is nothing. And the next person I gave a car to, I think it was that girl. There was a girl who I, she, she got um, bit by a tick and she got Lyme disease and she'd been stuck in the house for the last two years. She was a Christian. She's like, I prayed. And she said, like, last month I finally got healthy, but I'm stuck in a little town and I couldn't go anywhere and I won the car. So you see like blessings move to the next person who's ready for it. And you know, for that girl who said no, I don't wish her any bad thing. She'll know now for the best, the next time. And some people gotta learn the hard way. I guarantee you, the guy who said, the two guys who said no to Mark Zuckerberg, the next time somebody says, I got a business plan for you, I bet you they'll be more open-minded. And I bet you this lawyer that said no to Jeff Bezos, the next time somebody's like, yo, you want 10% of my company? He might not automatically put it in, but he'll at least be open-minded. And for you guys watching and you're on the fence with this program, do or do not, there is no try. And um, I promise you, I wouldn't put these programs out if they didn't work for people. And so try it, and if it doesn't work, get a refund. That's better than college, that's better than Disneyland, that's better than Sushi Nobu. You get your money back if it doesn't work. And, and if people, if that's not enough for them, I say the same thing that I said to the person who wouldn't take the car. Forget you. I get, what else you want me to give you? You want me to drive? You want me to fly? That lady wanted me to fly out with the car. She lived in like whatever, Nebraska. I'm like, ah, come on. I gotta not only buy you a brand new Mustang for $25,000, but to prove it, I have to take all the time out of my day and fly there to you and show. I'm like, that's not gonna happen. And it's the same thing with people who are like, okay, I'll get in your program, but prove it to me. No way, never. I'll ne I became an entrepreneur, I'm nobody's bitch, trust me. I'm not the richest man in the world, but I have enough money that there's zero people in the world that can like try to be like, well, if you don't do this, I won't do business with you. I don't care. I'm like, fuck you. I will say that straight to their face. The only person that has control over you in this world is the IRS, God, and physics. Like you get hit by today, somebody in a Lamborghini crashed into a tree at 160 miles an hour. So physics, gravity, inertia. But besides that, don't be anybody's bitch. Make an, even Jaden now. Jaden makes 60 grand a month. If somebody's an asshole to him, he's 21 years old, 22, he'd just be like, nah, man. In fact, he fired one of his biggest clients that was paying him $15,000 a month because the client was unreasonable and was like, hey, 
do all my social media and like do more and more. And, and now Jaden, just think of this, Jaden has enough money, he's not the richest man in the world, but he literally can tell somebody who's giving him 15,000 a month for his social media marketing agency, he can just be like, bye, you're rude. And that's the best place to be in in life, I'm telling you. Don't be anybody's bitch. Respect, my favorite poem by Chief Tecumseh is respect others and their views, but demand they respect you too. So you, it's a two way street. And this world we live in, people try to take advantage of you. So make enough money that you don't get taken advantage. Most of you that get taken advantage of, trust me, it's because people have financial power over you. You know, you have a shitty job where your boss takes advantage of you. If you had enough money, you wouldn't have to do that. You're in a relationship with somebody People get stuck in horrible relationships because they need money, so make enough of your own money. So congratulations for those of you who got in and click the link somewhere here. If there's any questions, call my office. There's, sometimes there's chat if you're on, my, on the right page, you can chat and uh, I'll see some of you in the live call in a month or this month. So goodbye, talk to you soon. You guys ready to go eat? You ready? Where can we go eat right now that's open? Eureka. Eureka. Oh, you want to go to Eureka? It's right. open? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Pizza Hut. Pizza Chuck E. Cheese. I got one more. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. I think there should be an outro by Zach. Yes. You can put a frying table as well. Where's Eureka? Yeah, I don't think you see the numbers. Hey, we should go.